Good evening, folks, and welcome to the third instalment of this Deadline Day on the Toon Review YouTube channel. Uh, we hope you've enjoyed the last couple of hours over on World of Sport TV. Uh, and tonight it is, uh, well, it's getting a little bit feisty uh, on the transfer window. Um, Danielle, welcome to your first stint of the day. How are hey. you doing? Hi, Danielle. Tired today, but um, yeah, feeling good, feeling good. Hopefully we can pull something off. I don't know what. Um, well, after... The recent news, but um, yeah. something. Yeah. <laughs> Manchester United, right, are playing games here and are playing really nasty games because not only are they pissing Newcastle United off, but they're destroying Jesse Lingard because Lingard has clearly stated that he wants to move now. The deal, Newcastle have offered a tremendous loan deal, to be honest. Three million pounds um, up front plus a five million quid bonus if we stay up or four million. I can't remember which one it was. It's one of the two. That is a fantastic deal for Manchester United. And we have been royally screwed up the arse by Manchester United, who now again. know the Delhi yeah, again, who now know the Delhi Alley has gone to Everton. So we've lost out on him. And now it turns out that we're gonna lose out on Lingard because they're saying, uh, yeah, we're not yet go. Absolute fannies, and they're doing it deliberately. And I just hope, Man United, this comes around to bite you in the arse in a couple of years' time when we are top of the league. You are scrambling for players and you try and nick one of ours because it's it's a disgrace. Um, Jade, I know you've had your feelings uh, on World of Sport TV about it. Uh, clearly not yeah. happy either. Uh, you feel very similar about it to me, I believe. I do, yeah. I think it's, it's disgraceful treatment of him. Do you mm -hmm. know what I mean? Like, as a player, you, you are effectively damaging a player's career intentionally. Yep. And I just find that kind of treatment from, from a football club perspective really disgusting you know he's still quite a young lad and he wants to get first team football he wants to push for his international career and you yeah. are purposely damaging both and i just find that treatment really really poor irrespective of where he'd go that mm -hmm. in itself is disgusting so yeah i hope also in the future you know when they need a couple of backup players or somebody on loan for five months or whatever you know because of injuries x y and z i really yeah. hope that they've, we've got their number written down and uh, we just ignore their calls Without a doubt. Uh, Aaron, uh, thanks for your £4.49 super chat. Thanks for your work today. Being great streams. Thanks very much, mate. Uh, please, guys, if you do enjoy the show today, please do hit the like button for us. Been a very, very busy day, obviously. We've put a lot of effort in to bring this to you today over the both the channels. If you're new to the channel and you like what you see, rapidly on the Toon Review, we're approaching 9,000 subs. So please, please, please do consider subscribing. Um, Pass the show on, you know, pass the channel on to your friends and family. And let's try and get up to 9,000 subscribers. That would be amazing. Uh, if you'd like to donate to the channel today, you can. Just hit the um, dollar sign at the bottom of the live comments. That'll take you through that way. And also, you can become a member of the Toon Review as well. There is a join button there. If you don't see that, then the link is in the description for membership. Uh, Danielle, what's your view on uh, the, the situation with Jesse Lingard, first of all? Uh, it just reminds me of the end of like a really toxic relationship. Mm. Do you know what I mean? I feel like they're saying, well, if we can't have him, you, nobody else can. So yeah. that's how we're going to treat you. And we're going to drag you through the mire mm -hmm. right at the very end when you've got very little opportunity to do anything else. Um, 
firstly, we're going to ignore you and drag you on for a little bit longer. And then we're going to, after they've been briefing people that, yeah. that they were, you know, saying that they were going to allow them to go. Mm-hmm. Um, it's absolutely disgusting. But yet again, I'm not surprised. I've said it before. I think they're rotten. I think that right at the core of that club is rotten. Yeah. Um, so I've never been more of a West Ham fan than I am right now, and I hope they pip them to it. I really do, because that club is a disgrace. And I yeah. hope that when they come knocking, which they will, we'll add a little Manchester United tax on. Why the yes. hell not? Agreed, fully agreed. But let's move uh, on. Let's move on to another target. Let's get somebody somebody else and don't deal with them idiots anymore. Oh, that's a good segue. Really. Yeah, very mm-hmm. true. Uh, v- Voodoo, uh, thanks for becoming a new member. Uh, welcome to the Tune Review family. And Michael Marsden, £100 super chat. Uh, oh, wow. Unbelievable, man. You are such a star. And I cannot, I, I can't have any more words than just, there's no more words to describe your generosity, my man. So <laughs> thank you so, Amazing. so much for that. Uh, you are an unbelievable gentleman. Thank you so much. Um, right, a segue into what, Alex? What were you going to bring up? Well, she mentioned other targets. Yes. Tar- target. Well, I mean, look, it's just officially they just announced target, didn't they? Yeah, welcome. So... Welcome, Matty Target. Yes, the house. Yeah, he's yeah, got so under the radar, hasn't he? He was almost Lingard to walk <laughs> Listen, I, I, right. Lingard's got me furious, right? But also, no, this other computer that I'm using has got me so annoyed as well because <laughs> I'm trying to get on Now TV to watch Sky Sports News and it keeps saying, um, I have had too many simultaneous. Uh, players of it a day so it, i don't even know what it means so <laughs> I, I it it's it's annoying shall we say Has the computer said no computer said no <laughs> um oh well i'm trying to install it again um right carrasco alex can you see this actually happening because he does have a release clause um if we trigger it then i can't you know, know. Atletico Madrid really don't have any sort of hold on him. Uh, we could get him in uh, because of the Lingard thing. They need they need options. Ali's out the window. Lingard's out the window, uh, and Carrasco's one of those where we don't have to haggle. It's a release mm. clause, so yeah. it's granted it's not the same sort of position, but um, we need some more lethality up that top end of the pitch, and he would provide that. And I'm sorry, it what just... did you just say there? I didn't understand that word you just said. Same. We need people to be <laughs> lethal. We need weapons. We haven't got any. And it, it, he is one of them. He's a monster. So he is. And he's he a is. monster that we wouldn't have to negotiate with a boardroom full of dilly dallyers. We could just pay his release clause. <laughs> this is how you feel, Alex. Good. The Manchester yeah. United board, and I hope they're watching. Knobheads. Yeah, um, I agree with everybody that's talked about it. That as far as I'm concerned, everybody's talking about, oh, it's going to be the Man City, Newcastle, Oil, Classico. Nah, Man United. I want to beat them 5-0 every time. Disgusted with them. Listen, I already Thumb hated I, I already hated Manchester United with a passion. <laughs> yeah. And that passion has just risen tenfold now. Yeah, I agree right? with Paul. They're in, they're in the ring now. That's it. They are the rivals. I want to yep. put them, I want them relegated. Okay. Absolutely yeah, sick I want to finish them. them. I'm sure mm-hmm. there are fans out there that are disgusted with the way they've behaved in the last 24 hours. Well, listen, any Man United fan that's not disappointed for Jesse Lingard, you need a shovel up your ass, to be quite frank. Because, you know, the guy has put years in for Man United. He's done a great job for years. Let him go. Let him go and play his football somewhere else and try and get in the World Cup squad. Because I'm sure that's what Lingard's looking at as well. Um, Richard Byrne, thank you for your £4.49. Uh, great work today, guys. We mustn't get disappointed at the end of what has been an unbelievable day, Tune Tune. It has been. But my worry is, Danielle, we don't have a striker. We don't. We, we really I, need somebody who's going to score goals. I'm worried about getting someone here for a medical or getting a medical taking place um, and getting everything done in time. I don't know what options there are now out there. Who, who Who's left on the list that we can go for? Um Definitely not a reggae. I was watching earlier, Jade, and I agree with everything that you said. I was, yeah, I was not, shouting, don't, don't yes, get Jade. Jade. Started on a again. We're not going back there. Uh, just yeah, no, no, two no. weeks. Um, I don't know who, who else there is. We'll have to keep trying, but as time goes on, you just think, you know, we need we need to move and move quickly. But my concern is exactly the same as yours, Paul. I mean, we've done great work in terms of the defence, yeah. um, but where are we going to get the goals? <sighs> Jid, where are we getting the goals? Well, in what we've got at the moment, 
we're not. You know, we've done like like Danielle said, we've done some wonderful work defensively. You know, done really really well. Shored up that back four, got a lovely CDM in. It's all looking beautiful and rosy until you get to that final third, and then that's where we're really really lacking quality yeah. and the lethality as Statman used. We are missing those killer, you know, the killer players who are just going to bang a goal in, take the shot, take it on. Um, obviously, the Yannick Karashko thing is all rumour at the moment. There is the release clause in his contract. That is legit. His release clause is £60 million. Mm -hmm. So that is that is legit talk. But whether or not he's on our plans to trigger it, we don't know. It's all rumours. Yeah. But we need to pick up somebody from somewhere and fast because I think that is where we're really going to struggle now is, is that final third still looks tremendously weak. Well, it worries me. It does worry me because, like I say, I've, I've made it quite known that I'm not sold on Chris Wood. Listen, he might come, he might become a god in the next few games. He might bag a hat-trick against Everton. However, I don't see that right now. What we need is somebody who is a prolific goal scorer and knows where the back of the net is, whose main job is just on that pitch to put the ball in the back of the net. Um, now, yeah, Callum Wilson is that kind of player, but... We have no faith in Callum Wilson to stay fit because his muscles are like elastic bands. Uh, and it just, he tweaks them all the time. Um, we also haven't got time for which to wait for Callum Wilson. We haven't, we need, exactly. We need to get goals now. So um, I'm just hoping for a shock, a shock tonight. I'm hoping for like something comes out of left field that we weren't expecting mm. or perhaps things have already been triggered. I don't know. Um, um, well, apparently they're screaming about it on the United stand with Mark Goldbridge. Uh, they think it stinks and glazes at the yeah. blame. Um, I feel sorry for some of their fans because some of their fans absolutely. will probably agree with us yeah. as well. It's they do. Yeah, a lot of them have said that they want him to go and get first team football. So it's, mm -hmm. it's just a disgrace. The whole thing. It's not the fan base. That's the problem. That's no, what I understand is. the West Ham. It's the fact that they've said he's not allowed to leave for anybody that they've said. Mm. That's the killer. I get the rivalry, but for, yeah. can't leave for anybody. Yeah. Why? Why not? We're going to lose him in the summer anyway. So take a bit of money for him. It makes no odds. Yeah, go. they're going to get nothing for him at the end of this. It makes no. absolutely no sense. The whole Lingard situation makes no sense to me at all. It makes no sense to you guys. It makes no sense to Goldbridge and the United stand. It makes no sense to Man United fans. And it makes no sense to football fans in general. This is the blatant stupidity and idiocracy of the, of the Glazers. That's all it is. They are scum. And they don't know how to run a football club. They are just in it for money. And I can't understand this deal because they're losing money. Mm -hmm. But it, it's just, it's frustrating. And it, it, it's horrible when you think that a footballer wants to play for a team, wants to move and kickstart his career to an example, Danielle. And he's not being allowed to do that. It's just, it, he's one of their own. He's one of their own. <laughs> like, ha what club thinks it's okay to treat one of the, anyone, let alone one of their own players from their, their own city, like this, it's an absolute disgrace. But it just shows what they've come to. They're that petty and petulant that yeah. that's what it's come down to. Like whatever, like don't you know? They're going to be their own downfall eventually because every every club and every player that they do wrong, reputation precedes itself. So let's see, let's see what happens next. But I tell you what, I can't wait to play them next season or batter them because I've had enough. I've had enough of, of them in thinking that above everybody else, that stupid cartel that they've got running is not good enough. Like, you know, oh, I'm cheesed. Danielle, oh. you keep going. Danielle, I've uh, missed you so much today. Oh, God, I've missed I've you. Been well, I've been this, watching, this, obviously. This girl power that we have, I, I've missed this. <laughs> well, I've been working all day, obviously, but watching as well. Um, and I've just been Obviously. brewing and brewing and brewing and brewing yeah. all day because you, you just knew it was coming. Like the, yeah, the absolute did. rats from the sewer. That's what they are. You got to love Danielle. I'm getting um, red um, by the second. Really, 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 really. um, Mark Walsh, thank you for the $19.99 super chat. In fact, you've sent two in. Um, but the, uh, the first comment is I'm old school, so Bruno's nickname should be Jinky G. <laughs> um, and his second one is exactly the same. So uh, thank you very much for those two super chats. I hope I you haven't pressed that, that by mistake, but uh, thank you very much. Um, J-Law says, uh, we need forward-thinking players. Our rivals all strengthening up top bar us. Mm -hmm. We have sco trouble scoring, and this will probably come back and haunt us. Um, Stephen's confident that they've got something in the bag. I agree. Um, 
please. You God. agree. I tell agree. me more, Mr. Stuttle. Tell me well, more. Well, all of these deals that have fallen through, we already knew how volatile they were and how it was all it's been chaos for the last few days with the Ekitike thing going quiet. Uh mm. Deli Ali was um in an R in because of Daniel Levy. And Lingard's always been a very uh, it's been a very weird situation. So th- there is no way they don't have backups. Absolutely no way. Considering how competent they've been so far since they've come in, I would be shocked if they do not have a backup plan for this situation. They must they must do. I mean, I've got to trust the them because they haven't let us down yet. Question. Um, Who is the backup? Well, we don't know. We're not privy exactly. to the list, are we? Carrasco's the only one that's been kind of put out there. Um, the Zapata thing's gone quiet. Very quiet. But it would be weird if they hadn't planned for this because the deals were dodgy anyway. So this mm-hmm. they, they must have been aware that this was a possibility and, and planned for that. I don't believe they just sat there going, oh, what do we do now? There's no way. They've got to have something, surely. Jid, what do you reckon? Yeah, I agree. I can't look at, look at business people as smart as they are and as rich as they are and think that they didn't have some sort of plan. We knew the Lingard one. It's been so on and off. Like a TK started on fire, then it died out for two weeks, then it lit back up. I just, I have to believe that they have a plan in place and they have another attacking player that yeah. actually would be, a, you know, is their more solid option. And in the next four hours and 43 minutes, we're going to hear about it. Yeah. I mean, Listen, I mean, Shields, he won there, but I think Lingard will be mad that he might possibly buy his contract out. I'm surprised Newcastle didn't offer that to him. Just say, look, there's 10 million quid for your pocket money, right? But use two and a half million of that to buy yourself out of the contract. And you I'm not sure we're legally allowed to do that. I think it has to be. Sod legalities. Up, doesn't it? <laughs> Well, then we get a transfer ban. And then I'll tell you what, when I come to power, it. rules are going to change in this football world, I'm telling you. <laughs> I'm serious. They, they will change. Um, it, it, it's, it's bollocks. Uh, Mayor Dad, good evening. Uh, Watford are in for Dean Henderson. Uh, Man United fans have some opinion, uh, same opinion as us. Uh, they said he doesn't want to play for them, so let him go play for a team he wants to. Um, indeed. Uh, Slain 8, thank you very much for your 4.99 in dollars. Uh, keep the faith and thank you for keeping us informed, lads and lasses. You are very welcome, my man. Uh, slight concern, uh, Bernard Lascelles as a centre-back pairing. Mm, uh, mm, uh, Walidovic uh, from Saudi Arabia, thank you very much for the 50... Is it Ruby? Ru- 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 whatever it is in Saudi. Um, with a comment saying, greeting from Saudi Arabia, thank you very much. Um, stand up if you hate Man United. Well, I would, but I'm not. Um, Alan says, off to the shop to get some vodka. Can't be nerves. We need a better striker options. I'm worried. I've got um, beer in the fridge. I understand your worries, but um, let's let's hold some hope. I'm you know, going to bust this other laptop on. right we in the middle of the on. screen. Let's just carry on ranting about what rats Man United are, because I could go all night, mate. <laughs> the thing is, with that club, right, they haven't been the same since Fergie left. Fergie retired, right? Oh, he was still a rat. They're just, they're just, well, yeah, let's be honest, he was as well. However, they haven't been at the same level since since Alex Ferguson. And now they're just owned by these, like, selfish, petulant little children in America who just want to, like, ruin clearly what they've got. They don't care about anything. And I just think, you know what? The worm will turn, and that's it. We will get our day. And i tell you something. I love it when that day comes. I swear to God, because there is no club I would rather destroy than Manchester United, apart from Sunderland, but they're doing a good job themselves. Is there G in that tea, Danielle? No, oh it's, it's, <laughs> it's lime and soda. You're all uh, right. Are you sure, Danielle? Uh, uh, you're on form the night already. You're only 19 <laughs> minutes in. Uh, Wilson won't be back till March. Uh, yeah, this is what we need, an attacking player. Yeah, uh, I am not worried. We have enough. Uh, main thing is we stop being sloppy at the back. I don't think we've got we enough. Don't, How don't is that enough? That. Yeah, How have I'm... we got enough? You're literally saying Chris Wood is enough. And I'm literally telling you he is not. Mm. Yeah, he he's not. Yeah, we. It's. It, I, I get your point about not conceding goals by, by all means. Don't concede and stop the silly defensive mistakes. But for the love of God, we need to score goals. We can't yeah. get away with just scoring one goal every game, guys. It's not no, going to work. It's going to be one nils and one ones until yeah. Wilson comes back. If this the window shuts mm-hmm. now, that's 
that's what it's going to be. Screw. We knew this at the start of the window. We said we needed a couple of defenders, a midfielder, and, and, and a, a strong attacker or two. You know, and we all said this. So if you think that that's enough just to buy and make us defensively sound and not you know, strengthen the attack, I, I, I think you're mistaken. Yeah. Uh, Ginger says, Paul, I agree with you. Woods was a Burnley tactic to get them down. I'm starting to believe that every single second now. That, that, that was more so for that tactic than actually to score goals. I um, think we should go for Suarez. So every time he scores, we get Paul's Baby Shark song. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. That was class last night. It wasn't. Uh, Wilson is not a talisman number nine. We need a full-time number nine. Uh, I kind of get that because, you know, a talisman is someone who... You know, we can rely on, and you know, as good as Wilson is, and he's a good striker, there's no doubt about it, but he's not reliable to stay on the pitch. So, Sky you know, Sports are loving this, aren't they? The oh, I don't know. Don't, 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 just... don't put it on. J- don't J- put it on. Jade, right? I, I don't know off. because now TV will not work on this laptop and it keeps staying. <laughs> don't I've put had... it on because in the 19 minutes that we've been live, I've seen them show the goal that Lingard scored against us whilst declaring that the deal is off and not going ahead of Man United. Four times. But they're part of it I've anyway. I've got two they're words part. for you. Right? And the second part one is off. little cartel anyway, aren't they? The pre- yes, they Sky are. Sports. Showing me they're that goal. Whatever. Right. If, 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 well. if anybody out there in, in World Wide Web world knows what it means when it says, oh, no, something's gone wrong, you've reached the maximum number of simultaneous streams on your account. How? I'm is watching one else, channel. Is anyone in the household using... No, no TV. I've checked with Phoebe. She's not, but I've got I've got it on three devices anyway, and there's only Phoebe watches it, so it, it, it's a pain in the ass. Wow! Or I, I need to watch it somewhere. I don't know how to get it on on anywhere else. All right, but never mind. Um, Bill says should have sorted out a striker a long time ago, plus another centre back. Uh, doesn't look like I have missed much so far. I was expecting more activity. Well, to be fair, Abs, there's been activity today. It's just that that activity hasn't gone our way at the moment. Yeah, and I think, um, I think you could, in terms of Eke Teggy, um, you don't blame the kid. He's 19. Like, yeah, we signed I'm, two I'm, and I'm, had a bid accepted. I wouldn't say that we've done nothing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we, we have had bids accepted. It's just obviously the, you know, I mean, you made a good point before, Alex, uh, about Eke Teggy. Uh, you know, 19 year old. He's from Reem, you know, himself. Yeah. Uh, he's a Reem kid and he doesn't want to leave Reem. Um, so he's staying in Reem. I don't blame him. I, I've done that before. I've moved countries, learned languages, and I'm not in the public eye. So it's a huge, huge deal. Uh, I don't blame him at all. Um, consider, well, who have we got that speaks French in the squad? Not many. St. Max. Mm. Um, it de- again, it depends. There's a lot of these, a lot of clubs like Manchester City and stuff. A lot of these clubs now have got... Um, I can't remember. I actually had a look at these job roles last year. There's some special jobs to do with uh, welcoming and helping new players set up and acclimatise who are from different countries. I can't imagine we've got that set up in a decent capacity yet. We probably will do. Yeah. But, um, you know, I, I get it. I get it. You know, it's it's up in Newcastle. There's probably, there's not, probably not a huge French community up there. Um, he's not. He's not lived anywhere else. You can't put that on his shoulders again. Pl- not getting first team football, not being with his family, not being with his friends, and leaving his hometown. Um, it's a lot to ask a nineteen-year-old. It is yeah. a hell of a lot. So I don't. I think if he said no, it's not because he doesn't want to come to Newcastle. It's 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 more than that. He might he might like the club and he might want to come and he might change his mind in the summer. But just think of this as his loan time. He might be, this is him practicing for six more months in France and then he might come join us in the summer anyway. So yeah. Uh, Rage and Phoenix says it's a little harsh on wood, isn't it? He's 10 plus goals a season for past four. Yeah. Look, I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is he's not prolific enough for what we need right now is to a prolific goal scorer to get us out the crap that we're in. Uh, we don't currently play to Chris Wood's strengths anyway because he's better with a two. And we haven't got anybody as a two until Wilson's back, which isn't until March. So, listen, we need a goal scorer. And Chris Wood, yeah, he scored some goals, but you look at the way Burnley play, completely different. I'm, I'm just, look, I've said it before. And I'll say it again. I hope he comes good. I really do. I, I really hope he bags some goals in against... Um, Everton, and I hope that kickstarts him into scoring the goals that will save us this season. But I don't see it at the minute. But I, I want to be wrong, really want to be wrong. Um, 
but hey ho, I don't know. Uh, what about Timo Werner? Uh, has he got a release clause? <laughs> uh, well, I don't we know need somebody who can find the net. Yeah. If you're going to go for him, you may as well try and go back for Alvaro Morata. We're pretty much on, on par with each other there for finishing. Uh, yeah. I mean, listen, I've seen a comment just go through before uh, to maybe go for Brogia. Um Now, he's currently on loan at West at, at uh, Southampton from Chelsea. But if we went to Chelsea and said, look, how much for this guy? Try and get him. Because uh, he looks an awesome player, by the way. He ran Man City ragged the other week. Uh, they Did. couldn't cope with him. Uh Carve said on Sky, it's because Man United see us as a threat next season. Uh, they know Newcastle are going for top five players in the summer and they don't want us to catch them. Well, then they're done because he leaves on a free in the summer anyway. So exactly. Yeah, isn't, it doesn't make doesn't any difference. Doesn't that just say they've got no regard for Jesse Lingard? Yes. They don't care. They're not bothered. There's no loyalty from the owners there. There's no connection he, between the he owners and the free. players. Exactly. Um, hello all, been listening to the old day at work Great work put in by all involved uh, Love this show, disgusted with Man United They're nothing but a shower of wanks Correct uh, It astonishes me that people still ask Paul Merson To go on live TV mm. uh, He's just said that if Lingard comes to Newcastle And we don't stay up, he's going to have to play In the Championship I'll Tell you something, Paul Merson right? Well no, yeah, listen how stupid that you. is Because if he comes on loan, he's not going to have to play In the Championship You utter bell end. I tell you something, Paul Mason knows nothing about our city. Nothing about, I mean, Middlesbrough doesn't count. Look, he knows nothing about this. His head's gone. His head is gone. I don't know how the con he continues to get a contract on that station. It's unbelievable the bias that he is showing. He said something about hate in the northeast this afternoon. Mm -hmm. You were never wanted in the northeast, Paul Mason. So keep that shut. And oh, the, can I just point out that Middlesbrough is North Yorkshire, not the northeast? So stick that up your pipe and smoke. Yes, and I'll tell you who else will be loving this. Miguel, De Miguel Delaney will be loving oh. this. Uh, Aaron says, I hopefully Manchester United crumble. Uh, Ian says, we should buy Man United and bankrupt the feckers. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Just seen Adam Pearson on Northumberland Street uh, furiously refreshing his Twitter feed. Hopefully some good news with one more signing. Um, Man United catfish have officially out catfished Sevilla. Possibly, yeah. I really believe Ronaldo is regretting his move back to Man United. Look, I, I mean, let's face it, Man United, um, you know, we've all had a go in the past saying what the Man United fans on about with with the with the Glazers, you know, you know, they've spent money on Ronaldo and Varane and Sancho. Um, but I guess it's not really the players that they're getting in, it's the way they run the club. And I think that's what the Man United fans are getting at. They like to uh Mark Goldbridge, etc. That's what they're getting at, the way the club is being run. Um and you can see now that that club or the owners have no respect for any of the players. They've got well, they, no run it, they run it the same as Mike Ashley. They're just yes. an advanced Mike Ashley technique. Yeah. And, and as opposed to recycling 17th place in the Premier League and bringing in the money and the advertisement, they're doing that on a higher level, trying to get European football. Yeah. They're just doing the same as Mike Ashley on a higher scale. That's Agreed. all they're doing. They're doing the bare minimum in terms of bringing in pretty signings to appease the fans um, and bringing in the appointments they think can keep it ticking over. They're, 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 they're using Manchester United in the same way that Mike Ashley used Newcastle United. It's no different, just on a, on a, on a bigger scale. Yeah. Uh, Albert uh, says, Chelsea are making a move for... Uh, I, I, I don't get that move at all. Um, they've already got 9,000 wingers. Why yeah, did they, they do another one? <laughs> <laughs> they got that's in the doy. I said this earlier. They the do stage. it a lot with with all positions. You look at the centre midfield options, and they still went in and got the loan for Saul, but they didn't didn't need him. They don't even yeah. play him. You didn't even need the guy, and you just picked him up and sat him on the bench. Hmm. Bizarre club. Listen, a lot of people are saying that the, the Greenwood situation at Man United is why they're not letting Lingard go. If that is the case, then why don't Manchester United just come out and say, with what's going on at the club at the moment? Um, with with a certain player, we need to keep Jesse at the club. Why not just come out and say that? But we know that's not the reason. We know you're trying to shit house Newcastle again. Yeah. Um, we'll stop giving up leads now with Bruno and the defenders we've bought, uh, which was the priority. We'll push on. This was the window was always going to be tough, and our owners have rocked it so far. They have we've had a good window. Mm -hmm. We've had a very good window, but we mm -hmm. still need. We still need a striker. Uh, that's a weird... Uh, guys, 
We are welcoming back after a long, long absence from this channel. Jade's on the hall. We got two Jades. Yes, it's going to get confusing, isn't it? But <laughs> I've got a well, nickname. That's all right. I'll let you crack on and take over as the as the main jade because you're team with you, and I'm gonna pop off and have a toilet break before Baz drags me on the world sport. Don't bit. blame you. No worries. So have Make a good chat. I'll be watching. So then, Jade. Hiya. How are you doing? Very well. How are you guys doing? Not too bad. Uh, what's your thoughts of the day so far? Oh God, I can't keep up. If I'm honest, um, yeah. I think these final hours are going to be. The, the big tell. Um, very disappointed about Man United and how they've tried work, but I expect nothing else. But mm -hmm. I honestly believe they really do think that we're a threat. And I know they didn't want to loan Lingard to West Ham to yeah. kind of be scared of that they're going to take over the top four. Mm -hmm. But I think they're honestly terrified if we stay up, what we'll become next season. And I honestly believe that's why they think, well, we're not going to lend Durham to then stay up and then probably overtake our next season if possible. So I'm just disappointing, but... I hope there is something else in the background. I'm sure there's a couple well, of... Few... Alex is convinced there is. I, I only hope... You know, we can only hope and pray that there is because I think it, it's all right, you know, defensively-wise, we've improved mm. without a shadow of a doubt. And now it's scoring goals, which which I think is going to be a struggle. Like you said before, Alex, it's pointless just getting one goal a game. Uh, we need to score a goal, go and get another one and maybe another one and actually kill teams off rather than defending all the time. Um yeah, I mean, definitely. are you disappointed, Jade? I mean, I don't know whether you heard Danielle's rant before. I mean, she's um, she's cooling down a bit now, but um, the, the, you know, she's she's had quite a lot to say on Manchester United. Well, I didn't hear it, but I can imagine because I think I feel the same. I'm just, it's just like I think I saw on Twitter before someone saying even I think if we did match the asking price of the loan amount, they still would find a way to yeah. have not awesome. done the deal. They just, I think it's just kind of spitting the the dummy out and try to stop any kind of progress from us and do you know what that's fine because yeah. we'll remember that and when we surpass them because it eventually will happen um yes. that'll be absolutely fine and we'll remember how the trek were but i think like i say I, hope, I really do hope there is something else brewing but i'm not i'm disappointed that we didn't get lingard but i think obviously we're target coming in now and i know dan burns really close i still think it's surpassed my expectations for the january window because we all know how hard it, it is normally yeah. in january now we have covid and all the other things to add in. Mm -hmm. But I think like the, the how kind of the owners and Eddie have worked behind the scenes for this window, they've never stopped. And we may have not got everyone we wanted, but we, tr we can't say we didn't try. Do you know what I mean? And that's what we wanted. We wanted someone with ambition to try and get where the players in the did. Tried. I don't think anyone can ever accuse us of not, not trying. <laughs> Uh, or the owners all. for that matter. I think it's been fantastic. Um, Jonathan says, hate being negative, but I don't think we have enough currently to stay up. Uh, couldn't be better time for this right now. Uh, I hope Paul's waxed his ass. I can see Cody signing. Uh, that's not going to happen, maybe. <laughs> no way will Cody be signing. Um, Man United's manager agreed to the transfer for Jesse, but the board refused. Yeah, we know that. And we know it's down to the Glazers. Um, Jade, Man United fans are furious. I think Lingard now. I mean, where do you think Lingard's head's at? Ugh, I don't know. But like, what, what's he going to sit on the bench again? Like, I bet he's absolutely furious, and I don't blame him. Mm. Um, I know obviously Man United have got their own kind of situation going on, and but like, I think I mentioned in the stream before, like a couple of hours ago, they, they've got Sancho to cover that role, and I still don't understand where Lingard fits in. And I just think. Like the poor guy is pushed and pushed to try and get a move away. He said he doesn't want to be there anymore. He's refused yeah. to sign a contract. So even after, and then they're going to end up leaving him on a free. I just don't understand the logic behind it to not get a bit of money for him now. Maybe even if we had a loan deal to then kind of buy him after the loan. It just seems ridiculous that they've kind of just said, well, you can go for a free then. Like, yeah. I just don't yeah. understand that. I honestly don't understand the logic behind it. But that's Man United for you. So I don't really... They're just that poorly run football club. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Danielle, I mean, you know, Man United themselves, I mean, they're, they're letting a the player just rot away, basically. And it's it's going to be damaging to Lingard at the end of the day, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, he's got a, we've got a, an international tournament at the end of the year um, and he'll want to be playing for England. So, will he get picked? Who knows? Well, um, yeah, I was going to I was going to say, where, where, what do you think Gareth Southgate will make of this? You know, I mean... Lingard could be an important player in the World Cup if he got his form back and he, he mm -hmm. plays well, like he did when he 
I mean, listen, he was playing well for Man United and then suddenly got left out the side and was never played again. And I was, you know, it, it, the more I think about it, I'm just... He's not going to go into that team. He's not going to play. Of course, he's not, man. He's, they're just going to they're just going to bench him for the rest of the season yeah. out of petulance and two fingers to us, basically. But do you know what? We'll just have to bide our time because our day is coming. It will come, and when it does come, we'll have a four-hour live stream to celebrate. Because I tell <laughs> you now, I will be buzzing. But I hate that club. Hate them. Yep, I, I, I'm getting that feeling done. Yep, <clears throat> no, no, no doubt about that. Uh, right, Paul? Alex, I'm seeing a, a report that's just come in saying that um, uh, Jesse Lingard is absolutely gutted at his move to Newcastle, failing to go through. I bet he is because this is this is essentially destroying his uh, international career because <clears throat> he's not going to play mm. for Man United. Um, He's not been tried in this fancy four two 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 system. He's he's not played a Premier League game in two years for them. It's it's outrageous. It absolutely makes absolutely no sense. I I would be furious. I wouldn't be gutted. I'd be furious. Uh, I'm I don't know if I don't know if gutted is the word that's been used to describe his current state, but that would imply sadness. I I think he should be angry, not sad. I'd be absolutely mm-hmm. livid because this is his job, this is his career, this is what he does every day. He comes home to his family, goes out to play football. That is his job. He's not being allowed to do his job, and it's that was me. Ridiculous. I'd be doing it. I'd be doing a Duncan Ferguson and Alan Chew. I'd be kicking the doors in. I would. <laughs> I'd be saying there'd be no door left on the hinge. I'd be saying I'm away. And I'm going, and I'm going now. Like that's that's what I would be doing. I wouldn't be saying I'm sad. I'm good. I'd be livid. Yeah, so, it's not just about yeah, us. I never though. want to get involved in an argument with Danielle because you've got he's no not even been offered Sometimes like a foreign and, loan. The talking has to stop, and the action has to begin. Doesn't it? Like, and clearly, mm. that that they're holding him down, and it's not right. Regardless if it was to Newcastle or another club, it's absolutely disgusting, and it can't. It can't. Something's got to be done about it. It won't be because they're in the cartel, aren't they? So you know, they all look after each other in that little club they've got. They, you know. Yeah. Oh, I hate the whole. Honestly, I'm getting. <laughs> The longer this goes on, I'm, I'm so angry. Well, I listen, I mean, it's going to go on, isn't it? It's going to go... This, I mean, this argument could go on until 11 o'clock at night with, with, with Man United. That You know, we've seen so many times that this happens and then at the at the last hour, clubs just say, yeah, go for it. And I, I, But I think, I mean... <sighs> Barbara's saying that uh, you know they're keeping Lingard because of that certain person leaving them light up front. Um, no surprise, Lingard move broke down. Now he's sitting on the bench for the rest of the season. Man United mm-hmm. are a shambles. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, uh, Brooke says uh, Alex. Uh, Man United saying no club can have Lingard is an attempt to cover up the very obvious disdain towards Newcastle. Uh, who the hell would want to play for Man United after this? Exactly. Yeah, indeed. Uh, yeah, well, well this, this is very true about future signings for them. They will be looking at the instability of managers, wage, wages, dressing room harmony, and they'll be they'll be watching all of this. This could hurt them for three to five years if they keep going this way. Mm-hmm. Um, it's not as we've seen. It's not just about money in football because people have have done. You know, people have moved to Tottenham and avoided Tottenham because of they've taken lesser wages to go to other clubs and better options. Yeah. So, considering that it's just so it's so volatile right now, yeah. If you go to like Van der Beek went there, Van der Beek was an absolute star in Europe, and he's gone there and it's destroyed the early part of his career effectively. So if you're if you're a talent and you you get a call from Man United, you'd be like, Ugh, but. Is your manager well, going to be the same manager? Are you going to play my formation ever? Like, I don't know what's going to happen. I, they haven't signed anybody in the window, have they? they they've signed nobody. Well, no, because they put all their eggs in, in the basket in the summer, didn't they? They threw everything at Ronaldo, so... Well, uh, listen, Ronaldo's wanting out of there. I know for, you know, <laughs> every, he's, he's made that play in... Don't let him. Obvious... <laughs> yeah. yeah. The land cup him as well. Uh, yeah, I uh, Steve... the goal post at the training <laughs> Exactly. <ground. laughs> Uh, Steve Marler, thanks for the Australian $6.10. That's never going to go away. Um, question for all, what deals do you think we can close before the deadline? Feels like Christmas, but no presents under the tree yet. It's 5.45am here, just hoping for more. Um, what time is it in the UK? 20 to 7. 20 to 7. 20 to 7. Um, Ticking. 
Birmingham City. Oh, Birmingham City attempting to strike a transfer agreement with Newcastle United. Oh, I'm just going to see who that. What? I'm just going to see who that is. I presume it's one of the one of the youngsters. But it, no, no, 24 year old. <laughs> Mickey. <laughs> oh, Jamal Lewis. Mm. Yeah, they're looking no. to grab him on loan for the rest of the season. Uh, no, thank you. Listen, we've seen rumours going around all, all afternoon that Jamal Lewis is, is heading out on loan to a championship side and Birmingham are putting in a... Uh, Birmingham, though, is that the right... Can they loan us no, it's not. Out? No, is the answer. No. Don't want to I'm come back with sure. an accent. <laughs> <laughs> Sound oh, like Gabby. No! No! <laughs> No! <laughs> Couldn't make anything You're worse. Right. You don't want to doubt a new cousin, will you? This is a big, you sick bastard. Honestly, squat. Um, Man United don't have Martial, Greenwood or Van der Beek. That's where they're hanging on to Lingard. Um, but he doesn't play. Well, they should come out with a statement and say that. They should exactly. say, because of the circumstances, we would like to retain Lingard. And then, every, then we would all be calm and everybody would be happy. But no, they're just leaving everybody in the dark. And making everybody angry and speculate, like they could clean this up themselves with one statement. And the fact that they're not doing because that makes scum. it really suspicious, right? Well, you cannot not be suspicious of Man United every single season. You've got to be suspicious of Man United because it's Man United, and we hate them. Keith says uh, bid yes. for Diaz from Blackburn. Twenty million would get him. Brereton Diaz, Jade. I just don't know, like. I think all like all, this whole window, all I've been saying is he better than what we've got, and the answer is yes. So I don't know. I just think at the time I would like it to like the Lingard, who's Premier League proven, who you know is going to do his lift for you because he's got a lot of proof. Lingard and he would kind of came in to fight for his England place, and I think he would be up to it. And it's just like of the kind of bringing in players that from lower leagues, and it's just could he step up quick enough? Um, is there is question? a breakthrough, by the way. Uh, David Ornstein from The Athletic has just said that apparently we're going to try and hijack Deli Ali from uh, Everton. And he's quite oh, reliable. Oh, oh. Now, I I that a done yeah. deal. Is that not a done nah. deal? Or no, it's not. not. Attempt to no. David Ornstein, a Newcastle make dramatic late attempt to pip Everton to Deli Ali, signing after losing out on Lingard. I've inquired to take Deli on loan just as permanent Everton. Can move, you uh, imagine? Can you imagine the salt? That's from the athletics, from the, so they wouldn't write the it if there wasn't anything Mackums. in it. <laughs> it does interest the this one Mackums. mind. Can you imagine? Oh, sprinkle it on that big stick. <laughs> I thought it was Christ done. I'm mate. surprised that's even a, that's even a, <laughs> an option. Well, I, Is he going for what, free, though? It, it was then, initially like, it was free, gonna... but with, it was add-ons, add-ons that amounted to £40 million. So... Yeah, it was oh, it was free there. initially. There was nothing to pay up front, uh, and then apparently the all the sort of fees came after that. After twenty, after a certain oh, amount of games, Keith Downey as well. Thirty yeah, seconds ago, Zapata. about Zapata being the he's the only other option he can see available for five point five straight loan fee, no obligation. Wow, uh, Atlanta, Atlanta, Atlanta. So this is what Keith Downey's saying. So those seem yeah. to be our two. Atlanta said there would be willing to. To allow the deal to happen as well, which is more improvement than we got with Lingard. <laughs> uh, Caitlin and Nick say Paul for Prime Minister with Amanda his second. <laughs> hey, I tell you what, job. you know what? When I come to power, things will change. Um, <laughs> hang on a minute. Y'all are delusional. We don't have to sell if you won't. Is that some American slang? Pay for what we want. It's simple. Well, you see, Cabello, let me explain the situation to you. <laughs> right. We have agreed a fee with your club, Manchester United. Right. This is how it works. We've agreed a three million pound loan deal plus a further four million if we stay up, which we will, by the way. We're coming for you. However, right. I'd also like to point out, right. Sorry, I've just seen a, a super chat, which has just blown my mind. Um, I'll just pause. Um, Stephen Fraser. Five hundred pounds super chat. That Whoa. is absolutely Whoa. insane. Thanks, wow! Thank you so much, Stephen. That is absolutely mind That's, that's incredible. Absolutely incredible. That is that is. I mean, I, 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 I you know, I'm not one for to be lost for words, but I, 
uh, it pays for the yeah, bin to put that Man United comment in. Yes. Um, Stephen, thank you. I've been watching all day. He says, keep up the good work, guys and girls. Thank you so much, buddy. That is incredible. Um, oh, my flaming God. Now has put in another 2,199 uh, Saudi Arabian, which I think totals to 500 quid as well. Um, wow. That's incredible. That's, that's like a thousand pound super chats and two. Go- that is just incredible. I mean, thank you so much, guys. You know, the generosity out there is absolutely through the roof. It is just incredible. Thank you so much. But Cabello, I haven't forgotten about you, right? <laughs> this is how it works. Right? Let me just explain the situation here, right? We are not delusional because we've agreed a fee with your club, Man United. Your stupid, bald, comb over little twats of American owners have decided to ruin your footballer's career Preach. by not letting him come to Manchester to Newcastle United. So don't blame us and say we're delusional because Jesse Lingard wants to come to Newcastle. So don't call us delusional. Go, to, go upstairs, look in the mirror in the bathroom, <laughs> have a good word with yourself, and take your face yeah. for a shit. He's, he's answering the wrong question because that's not. I'm not. I, I respect clubs' right to decline offers. I'm angry that they're not letting him go anywhere. That's my problem. Yes. They're trapping him. I, yes. They're not. It's not just about joining us. If he doesn't want to come here, fine, fair enough. But no, it's I, the bet, fact I they bet won't let him go from Alabama. I bet he is. I bet he's from Alabama. He's like, y'all, oh, y'all, guys. no, y'all, y'all, she got a church on Daddy the side. is about to undergo a medical ahead of signing for Everton. Who is? That's quick. Get him out. Daddy Ali. He's doing his medical right now. Sorry, we've got a chopper. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. You get a chopper <laughs> down there. Nice uh, Keith Downey said we could get Zapata. Thanks, Joel Linton, for your £5 super chat, matey. Very kind of you, my man. Can I just say... It doesn't matter if he's had a medical. He hasn't signed on the dotted line. So he could have a medical at Everton and then we and then can still up, hijack yeah. and then he wouldn't need a medical for Newcastle. Saving money everywhere. <laughs> yeah, hey. It's all about the pounds, Jade. Like, you know? when, when, Sund- when Sunderland paid for CCA's flight, man, what we do. Oh, what we do. Yes. <laughs> yeah, it's just, yeah, we just nab in and say, right, I tell you what, Deli, maybe you've been on the phone to Delhi, you know, said, so Delhi, tell you what, son, Go and get yourself a medical, get cleared, <laughs> and then just jump back in your car and head to Newcastle. And then it's all done. <laughs> You've had your medical. We'll just pronounce you Newcastle United player. End of story. Got your shirt ready to go for the pictures. <laughs> Let's just be utter bastards and do it to all the, all the other clubs instead of us being the ones that get screwed up all the time. Mm. Um, under Webster rule, he can sign for the same homegrown country, says Paul. Indeed, he can. Um that will be the stumbling block. If we don't get a striker, we could struggle. Uh, even and everyone just got in from work. What have I missed? <laughs> well, where do we well, start? I mean, I mean, where do we start? I mean, uh, uh, look, it, it, I don't know what to say because this morning we were six six players coming in um and at the minute it's slightly deteriorated um but that could also change in the next few hours you just never know with football but, but to counter that we're in a much better position than we were um Correct. before the window opened so let's just cling to that for now and yep. anything that happens i mean if Deli Ali just decides to take his medical and then do one i mean it would love to see it wouldn't we do you know what i mean so yeah you never know yeah, definitely. Uh, Zapata and Carrasco, what a dream ending to the window that would be. Well, mm-hmm. yes. Surely, think... Zapata, if, if there's a 5.5 million loan deal and Atlanta, Atlanta are willing to do it, like why isn't that already done? In my opinion, <laughs> if that was already on the table, mm. regardless if you're getting Lingard or Ekiteki. Um, like, Who? Who? Eke-teki, Did you just say Ekiteki? That's how eke-teki. I say Ekiteki. That's how we all say Ekiteki. <laughs> But then, like, surely that was in my in my in my head that always the backup option that should have been triggered as soon as you knew Eki Teki wasn't coming. It's, All right. But maybe it is. Like, you don't know. We don't know what's happening. It's, obviously, Keith's at the training ground trying to give her the best he can, but no one really knows what's happening inside the club until someone inside the club tells you. Really. Very true. Very true. Uh, the silent killer says it's Saudi real is the is the uh, currency. So thank you very much for that. Uh, absolutely enjoyed all three parts of your broadcast today. Keep it up, guys, says Abdullah. 
Hey, uh, Ragatoni, how are you doing, man? Uh, Saudi Reals as well. Um, I would love a striker, please, please, Amanda. I'm not Amanda, I'm Paul. Um, <laughs> Right, you're speaking in Arabic there. I've got no idea what that means. Uh, I'm clever, but not that much. Um, Wayne says rats. Love it. Uh, I think Danielle rats. was being quite nice calling them rats, to be honest. Uh, you I know. did say super rats after that, but they yes, are big, yeah. massive, dirty, stinking rats. Van, Van der Beek's chatting absolute nonsense as well. He's just said, mm -hmm. I've had a really positive meeting with a new coach and we have the same ideas about football and he had a lot of influence on my decision. So that's regarding Lampard. Well, why didn't you sign for Chelsea? When you left Ajax then, when exactly. he was the All Chelsea the manager, that makes no sense. Absolutely no sense. Hey, he's a wrong form tonight, guys. There's a lot of... You know, just get them telt. We won't stand by and be pushed around by nobody. Um, I think join Everton, join Everton. Just don't fake your reasoning. Just be honest. Well, just say you're a bottling <laughs> twat and you couldn't be asked to come to the big club that is Newcastle. You exactly. bottled it and went to a bunch of bin dippers. So, <laughs> it, you know, fair enough. Um, Man United have succeeded in a very dirty game, strung us along until our backup plan signed for another club and then pulled the deal. Um, uh, Nick says, fat, greedy, parasitic bankers who bought the club using Man United's own money. Um, how Arsenal board are plans for striking force? I've no idea. Uh, Lingard now off apparently. We know that. Don't get let's not say that again. Keegan Keegan Rand says, Albert, of course it was. She would love it. Love it. I will love it. Um, marching on together, which of course is a Leeds far, it leads channel. Man United are dirty bastards. Well, we of course are. they are. Scruffy. Yeah. <laughs> scruffy. <laughs> You're just a scruffy little rat. <laughs> Uh, Ab says, uh, "Man, it's have it's have been Man United have been playing games. Ari Lingard the whole window. Indeed, they can." Uh, Danielle is off on one tonight, uh, and rightly so. Uh, you know, there's there's just, I mean, it's just just had shit. enough of them playing games with us. Just had enough of them. This whole takeover malarkey. I don't know who they thought they were th then, and now this. I mean, come on, man, they've got to come into them, and I can't wait for that day. I'm sorry, but Jesus, you've lost it tonight again. I mean, well, you, haven't, no, you, haven't, you haven't lost it. You've just basically, you, you, you've put your argument across very well, to be honest. It, I just it's, can't uh, bother anymore with them. I just think. Articulate and angry. It's good. It's but, really, yeah, it really like, it, it's beyond, it's beyond a joke. I just yeah. don't know. A, how are they allowed to buy the club with the club's own money? How is that allowed? We, we had money on the table and it went on for 18 bloody months. I yeah. don't understand this situation. Danielle, it's Manchester United. What do you expect? Well, you know guess the... what? They're not the same Manchester United that they used to be. So guess who's oh, coming around it. the corner? We'll fight all the way at the end of the season. We'll stay up. And then in the summer, we are spending. And then next season, yeah. we are coming, I tell you. I agree. The, the, ni the niceties are, are gone now. I've got a few yeah, friends that are Manchester that United fans. And it's, you know, I, <laughs> in, the last, in the last 10 years, I'd always try and support an English team if they got fur in the Champions League or yeah. all of this kind of nonsense. No, nah, sorry. Man United, I want you to lose every single game. Yeah. I, will, I do not want them to get points ever again. Not I'd be one. happy with not that. One. Not one. Not even a pity point. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I mean, we already Nico gave him says, one of them, to be fair. Well, yeah, we? yeah. We, beat we did. Other, like, a few yeah, weeks we ago. We James, gave him yeah. a pity point. Yeah. Uh, Bradley's big tour says, preach, sister. Uh, <laughs> go on, Danielle. Don't hold back, girl. I love your hands, Danielle. I can't. Oh, dear me. Um, uh, Beard Bandit says, I think we'll get that lad from Benfica. Is it worth taking another punt at him, do you think? Why not? How long's, how long's a flight from... <laughs> Portugal. I don't know. How long does it take to get from Portugal to Newcastle? <laughs> if you can do the medical there, maybe. Yeah, know. you can have a medical in, in. In we'll just, we'll just look. All we need to do, right, is if we're going to go for him, it's simple. Just head down to Catrick, right? Put our medical person on a jet, right, on one of the army jets that can fly at like a billion miles an hour, and fly over to Portugal, parachute them out the plane. <laughs> Right, and he's there. He can do the medical, and then he just needs to ring Newcastle and say medical done. He's passed. I will just if send him to Everton. 
while he's doing dallies, he can do those as well. <laughs> oh, I mean, how much do we hope that comes off? Just a shit house, Everton. Yeah, I don't actually care about the like. Obviously, uh, I think Deli Ali could be a, a good player for us, but I just think it'd be hilarious. Yeah, just I'd love to see it. Yeah, just because you know it's Everton. That, well, I hate Everton, but even if it doesn't happen, that's you know fair enough. Doesn't I don't think that makes made a big difference to their squad. I don't mm. think that either of them are going to be match fit for a few weeks anyway. They haven't played for. Three weeks and weeks. Yeah, so. exactly. They're, they're going to struggle. They'll, they'll maybe play 50-odd minutes, but um, Big Joel will hammer them anyway. Um, Aaron, thanks for another £4.49 four super chat. He just commented, yes, Danielle. Um, well, I think, I think Kyle will be has, grateful. Uh, I'll be grateful that I don't live with you because poor Lee's <laughs> had this all day. Like, he oh, really has. God. He's sick of his life. So I'm just absolutely, like, at my wit's end with this behaviour. Of all these like so-called big clubs, like look, we're the richest club in the world. It's over. It is over. The time is ticking, like countdown. We are coming for you. It's just a matter of time. Try and put everything in my way. It doesn't matter because we'll overcome it. It doesn't matter. Oh, I'm fuming again. We can make a, a Rambo <laughs> montage with these clips, definitely. Oh dear me, how? Um, as an American myself, I agree. The Glazers are like the Cronkies and KFC at Liverpool. Sorry for our exports. Uh, you don't have to apologise, mate. Thank you for watching the channel. Um, Jason Brown says, only Trippier and Bruno have upgraded the squad. Uh, the rest are just making up the numbers. Uh, we needed more up front. Very concerned. I mean, that's not true. Yeah, I don't think so. I think Dan Byrne is better than what we have. How, a target uh, is an upgrade at left back and Byrne is. is an upgrade. Again, like you said, yeah. Without a doubt. George, who sits next to me at St. James's, says, well done, Danielle. Well said. Uh, Cairo says, uh, Ross Bar Roos, it's Roos Barkley is incoming. Roos Barkley. <laughs> it's Australian cousin. Uh, Ethan says, we've got enough now, in my opinion. Uh, we've signed a new back four pretty much. Yes, but we need to score goals. You know, we can't just score one goal and expect the back four to hold out every single game. Uh, I hate those tactics. I want to get away from them. I want to score a goal and think, right, I want to believe that our side is going back to try and score another goal. That's all I want. Uh, Chesra says this was a strategic dis debate, sorry, delaying tactic just to keep our attention uh, on an attacker to make sure we don't go for our backup in time. Exactly. Billy Trey, good evening. Good evening, everyone. How are you? Hello. Fully refreshed and uh, fed up and fed and fed up as well. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Look who's back, Fetter, Billy. Fetter. Hi, Jenny. Hi, Hello, Queen. Hello, my friend. <laughs> we've got two queens. We've got the Queen of Crammy and we've got the Queen of Heaven. So, yeah, yeah we've got two queens on the channel. And uh, the King of Morpho. Yeah, Danielle's in a very, very bad mood, though, Billy. So, be, be careful. <laughs> and what he said. He said one or two rants about Manchester United already. Um, and, and rightly so, to be honest. Uh, Bacon says, let Gail have a chance. He will play good when he no, actually gets to play. He won't. Nah. He won't. No. Uh, Mark says, why would Man United give us a leg up? That's not the point. It's a, it's a player we're talking about here. They're tr they Billy, please say something. <laughs> it's not just any player either. He's been there since he's, he was seven, eight years of age. Mm -hmm. uh, an avid Manchester United supporter, given his all for them. Um, played hundreds of games for them. Scored petty goals for them, given his law service to them. And now they've basically all have done is kind of shit on him and kind of knackered his England career up, haven't they? And just by not wanting to do this business with us. Yeah. That's all it's about, really. Yeah, it is. Um, Paul said, uh, could we convince Haaland that we are the Barca of the North? <laughs> Jade, how about we just go to Dortmund and say, right, how much for Haaland? We'll pay it now in cash. Just say, do you like bridges? That's how we get everyone. How would you like a bridge, sir? <laughs> but you know what? Like, I know like, we laugh about, like, I think obviously a lot of pundits have said, like, oh, you're not getting the players that you wanted, like the Mbappes and the Haaland's. And we, let's be honest, we never expected that, at least this season. Yeah. But honestly, if, I know it sounds like dramatic, but if we stay up, and it, like, there's literally it's a clean slate then, and all we've got to do is push on. And yeah, I know people are saying it'll take like a few years and I'm more than willing to wait a few years. But I honestly think if we stay up, I don't think any name would be, obviously depending on FIFA Fair Play and what sponsors we're getting. But I'm sure that's all been 
looked into already as well. Yeah. I honestly think that will just be become a force to reckon with, and it's going to be it's going to be something special. And I think that's why everyone's just sh- shiting themselves, to say the least. Yes, they're shiting themselves. The, the reserve shiting team's them. just kicked off, and it's just all the comments are just getting hijacked. They're like, please hijack somebody quick, buy somebody. That was the yeah. wrong time to tweet that. From, that was from the Newcastle official. They've, yeah, the official know. website. Underway, and I was like... <laughs> yeah, the, we will, the co- there'll be no comments about the actual game. It'll just be saying, uh, announce oh, this, lads. do this. And uh, Andy says, I've watched you all day while driving my wagon at work. Keep up the good work. Don't worry, Danielle. Wartime will come against the Manchester United scum. Uh, Barbara says, is Bamiyang available again? Could we not get him? Well, I, I don't know where Aubameyang is because he went to Barcelona. <laughs> don't think he knows and, where he is. <laughs> uh, he went to Barcelona. Arsenal said that they didn't understand why he was there because nothing was agreed. Aubameyang then came back and said, <laughs> I went for a day trip with the family. <laughs> which, which is... Before, honestly, I couldn't deal with it. When he was like, she was just like, Aubameyang's just showing up in Barcelona. And I was like, it's happening again. It's happening again. I was like, go on, please. <laughs> And he's like, yeah. no, I just I came over to visit a family on transfer deadline day at yeah. this exact moment. Yeah. Then I'm going home after a couple of hours. Yeah, and I was when, like, the, when the media oh, were linking me with a move to that <laughs> football club from that city. How strange. Oh. Yeah. I mean, B- Billy, that's a classic. Uh, that's a classic. Ah, oh, Jeffrey moment, isn't it? Really, you I mean, silly, silly, you Billy. Ah, 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 uh, oh, my contact lenses have gone blurry now since I did me zippy. Uh, I've been saying since the previous manager left that shoring up the defence will keep us up and set the stage for pushing on next year. Um, if ASM gets injured, we are foobard. Um, Alex, anything on Carrasco going on behind the scenes? I'm refreshing constantly. Constantly, I, his name's not popped up anywhere. I've deliberately gone and followed um, his friends and his just everything to do with him and Atletico, and nothing. Yeah, for what you sell, it. It. we don't want people to believe you're a stalker, man. <laughs> I thought well, his friends, his I mean, family, on Twitter to clarify, on Twitter, children. Um, and there's just nothing. There's nothing coming up. Um, no, I mean, I again, seen... it's one of those that's release clausable, but yeah. Mark Douglas was just tweeting saying that he was told by the Premier League exec last year due to Brexit it's nigh on impossible to do an overseas deal on deadline day. Because of the extra paperwork. Yeah, he said it's pretty much nigh on impossible, but you've seen them happen still and obviously... Yeah, listen, paperwork can be done as long as the Premier League have proof that the the deal is done and it's just paperwork to go through. Um, it's it's, It's in the rules somewhere that 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 deal can still go through. Um, it happened a few times at the end of the summer window. So um, it is reporting now that Newcastle are attempting to hijack Deli Alley's move. Uh, yeah. That would be absolutely outrageous. I will be on Twitter literally all night slamming the Mackham Scousers. I would honestly, I'd even drive down and stand outside Goodison Park with just a, just completely naked and a Newcastle bobble hat on just to piss me off. Oh <laughs> I mean, honestly, I can't stand them. The, the the grief that we've got from them fans over the last however long it is. <laughs> Should is, we do is, the is, fan is, forum is... tomorrow outside Goodison Park? <laughs> Join us live. <laughs> live from Goodison Park. I mean, um, there is something here that I just found. This was from Anfield Watch on Twitter. They've said that um, Atalanta was sniffing around Rigi three hours ago as a response to our interest in Zapata. So... Oh, mm. that was only, was only a few hours ago. Uh, and a four and a half million straight loan fee. Yeah. Listen, if that's a straight loan fee, I, I, I mean, if we said it on here, I don't understand why we just don't go and do that, to be honest. Uh, mm. there's, there's no risk in that at all. On a five million pound loan fee, go and get him. Um, Ethan says people are overreacting. We've signed five players. That's enough. Ethan, those five players... We don't have a, an out and out goal scorer. That's what we're saying. We need a goal scorer. You know, Chris Wood. I mean, Billy's not sold on Chris Wood. I mean, Jade, are you sold on Chris Wood? Not quite yet. Um, so that's a no. Danielle? No. <laughs> no. 
was going to try and make it like nicer, but yeah. Yeah, I, listen, you know this channel, Jade. Just say it how it is. Yeah. No, not yet. <laughs> oh, we've got Jade's cat now trying to make an appearance with its well, Always. arse and tail. Uh, just he gets his to his own toys out of his box to play with. I thought it was a pencil shot. Yeah, he's been he's been <laughs> fine all day, <laughs> and obviously now he's like, I want to be famous too. And where's Dipsy? She's in a bathroom Daniel. fast with Lee. Oh, right, okay. Just she normally uh, perks up as soon as you go live, and it has to be on the camera. He'll be here late. I don't know if Simba's in here with us at the minute, but he's passed out. Oh, uh, okay. Um. Stu says five players in is more than we could have wished for. Let's be positive; we will stay up. Hey, I'm not saying we're going to go down here. I'm just saying we need a striker. We need another striker. Um, we're not dissing the owners either. We're saying that absolutely again. Not. Them idiots at Old Trafford have done it again. Uh -oh. So that's what. I'll go and put the kettle on. I'll be back in five. <laughs> but like, yeah, but yeah, yeah, really, it's got nothing to do with with Amanda Maidard and all of that. And what what a great window we've had. Of course, we've yeah. had a great window. However. It all comes down to that rancid club once again. But hey ho. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Bruce says, name some strikers that you think that we could get in now, Paul. Um, leave us short up front. Uh, listen, uh, Brereton Diaz for me would be a good. It would be a good punt. Um, Zapata. If, if if reports are true that we can get Zapata for five million on a loan deal, then I'd say just go and do that. I mean. Jade, he's somebody who knows where the net is. Get, I'll tell you what, get um, get such and such on the phone. What's his name? <laughs> Mine's gone blank. <laughs> Colombian fella that played for us, man. The spree. Yeah. Get him on the phone. <laughs> right? And get that some Colombian pattern. fella. Like, I don't know, that, that, I don't know what you're doing there. But... <laughs> uh, Luke says to put me PC in rice. Well, that's not going to bring now TV on, is it really, Luke? Um, <laughs> stop sharing your password, Paul. Apparently, it's on YouTube today. Open another window. No, it's not. It's really not. Um, listen, mate, I've had me, uh, I've had YouTube hacked before. It's like Fort Knox getting into this YouTube channel now, I'm afraid, mate. So, uh, never mind. Uh, we need a player who can finish teams off. We need a goal and never push for the next one. Uh, deal off. Uh, we'll not be showing that because uh, Danielle will have a heart attack, uh, Donny, mate. So, um, Paul, you need to go to your Now TV account settings and manage devices, log out of old or unused instances. Uh, okay, I'll try that. that. Might be a good shout. Uh, Joseph says, I agree with Danielle. Man United are a horrible club. No man management, as if so, they would let their man go for game time due to the World Cup disgrace. I mean, Billy, that's what we need to think about here is, is Jesse Lingard and his... You know where where is um, where his head's at at the minute because World Cup coming up. He wants to get back in playing football. Um, he's made it publicly known that he's happy to come to Newcastle. And Man United digging the heels in simply because they're being arsy. It's not just us either. I mean, West Ham were interested as well, so uh, you can see why they're not selling to the, uh, letting him go to them because they've been rivals and that. Yeah. We're no, we're no kind of threat to Manchester United at the moment, um, but I think this is all about what happens in the future, and they're scared stiff of, of sometime in the next year or two being pushed to get in that top four, and it's going to kill them if they don't get in it because they're already there a new, pound in there. There's a new announcement, by the way, for Britsia Romano. Uh, quite a, Laporta has come out <clears throat> with a statement about Obama Young saying it seems that we'll pull it off, and he was yeah. questioned about Dembele. And he said various solutions have been proposed. The last one depends on whether the player accepts it. And it is to go to an English club. So that's from the Barcelona president, like literally just now. Well, so, it's, che it's Chelsea, the English club. It's not Newcastle, though. Um, well, it's rumoured. We don't know if that's confirmed, though, do we? No, I'm telling you, it's Chelsea, man. I've had an HP <laughs> with a little bit of Worcester sauce kicked in it. So, I, 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 you know. Um, everybody's telling me to give me computer a kick. Listen, it's my daughter's computer and I can't really kick it. Uh, <laughs> I'm, it's doing an update now, so maybe that was the problem. Maybe it just needs sort now. But uh, I've already said this once today, but I do think that's NUFC done on incomings once Dan Byrne is confirmed. Five signings makes this a very good window, in my opinion. I think Lingard falling through has got stuff to do with the Greenwood situation. Um with the team we have, we will stay up. I think we sh we should have went for Lewis Dunk, Harry Winks, James Ward-Prowse. Well, 
didn't um, didn't Mr. How Daniel come out at the start of the month and say that he wasn't interested in Harry Winks? Yeah, I think he did. Um, I'm sure the the list that they had was a mile long. Um, but I, I don't know. I don't know. Um, I've just read something on Twitter from the guy that used to work from the Chronicle saying that. If anyone could pull off a last minute deal at Newcastle with the resources that we have. Oh, that was yeah. Mark Douglas, wasn't it? Mark Douglas. Yeah, because yeah. he said, obviously, he's the one that said about obviously getting deals done, but he said, if anyone can do it, it would be us because of our resources. The chopper. <laughs> the chopper's en route to Goodison Park. <laughs> Listen, I'll tell you what, my chopper will be swinging round in a helicopter <laughs> if we nicked Ali Ali off bloody uh, Everton, I'm telling you. <laughs> Susan, I apologise for my behaviour tonight. It is disgraceful. Um, uh, Lisa's, are we in the shitter now with nothing new up front? Well, I don't think we're in the shitter. Potentially. Um, it's, uh, Alex, do you think we're in the shitter or can we get out of this? Do, do, do you genuinely think that there's still a signing to be made here? I mean, what, we 10 past 7 now? We're pushing it. There's people reporting that thapata has got a medical at Tottenham booked. I hope that's a lie. Oh, um, I have not just checked. He's only got 100 so. followers, so that's not right. Um, have we got enough? Um, I mean, if Chris Wood matches his 10 goals for the season, he needs to score another seven, which would be seven in how many games we've got left? 17? Yeah, seven in like 17 that, yeah. from our striker, plus Wilson scoring some when he comes back. Mm. If Wilson scores another another six again, 15, 16 goals. Plus you don't exactly in. sound confident, Alex, to be honest with you. I mean, you're not saying that. Look, it's, it's, I feel like we, if we have the attacker or striker, we stay up comfortably. Yeah. If we leave it as it is now, we're going to stay up by points. It's going to be, yeah, because people around us have strengthened. Uh, the only people that haven't is Leeds. So, uh, Watford, despite being poor, did bring in three signings. Norwich have improved. Um, you know, Watford have also brought in Roy Hodgson. Uh, Everton have got Lampard in. They've just bought two, possibly three good new players in. So apart from Leeds, everybody around us has improved. Uh, Burnley have got their striker in, but I, I think have, yeah, have we improved enough? Have we improved enough? Do you think, as it stands right now, have we improved enough to avoid relegation? Do you think, in your own mind? If it ends um, at 11 o'clock with what we've got now, have we got enough to stay in the Premier League? Yeah, but it'll be, it'll be close. It'll be by one or two points. It'll be really tough. That's, that's I don't think I my think. heart could take that. Danielle, how about you? Do you think we've got what it takes at the minute? Or would do you think we definitely need to bring somebody else in to score the goals? Um, I think from a goal perspective, we haven't. Got what it takes because if we did, it wouldn't be in the situation that we're in now. Yeah. Um, but look, the squad's a lot better than it was, you know, before the window opened. So that's give me hope. Yeah. And you just never know. Someone, someone might just hit form, and we might just get past. And and you know, all we need to do is get to, get, you know, seventy sixteenth place, seventeenth place. Mm -hmm. And then we we'll build it again in the summer, but it's going to be tight. I think it's going to be really, really tight. But hopefully, Callum Wilson will come back in March. We'll get through till March. Callum Wilson comes back, and we we'll just keep him in bubble wrap because if we lose him. I mean, Jade. I mean, earlier on today, I was saying, you know, I was confident that we were going to finish um, probably around twelfth if we had the play if we had the players that we were linked with when we first went live at 10 o'clock this morning. It was like, right, yes, this is going to be a fabulous day. We're going to get the cover we need in all the positions. Um, but when you look at the club, you look at... The, I, I don't want to say lack of firepower, because we have got firepower, you know, but it, it's playing them the right way. Chris Wood doesn't suit a three at all, because he's, he's just isolated. But his touch needs to be better, because as Billy said last week, uh, Chris Wood's second touch is always a tackle. So it, it has to be better. But it's who he links up with. There's, there's nothing there. So would you see, are you confident of staying up with it is with the squad as it is now? Yes, I think we'll do it. Um, I think 
the like Danielle said, the, we've, who we've brought in has obviously improved the squad. Yes, yeah. up front we are without without Wilson and obviously Wood. Kind of uh, not finding his feet as quickly as I would have liked him to, but he was never brought in to be your main goal scorer. He was never meant in to be there all the time. It was just cover for Wilson. And to be honest, uh-huh. I was expecting someone else to be brought in alongside him because I think he does work better either, either like in a two where he has someone running off him where he can call the ball up and then pass it because he's been isolated so much in the past couple of games that I saw. We're getting the ball to him. But then there's no one around him. To I've then got Sky get Sports him to. News back. <laughs> hey! hey! Anyway, Andrew Dodd, thanks for the five dollar super chat. His comment says, "Bail money for Paul." Where am I going? <laughs> uh, also, we'll need a clip of a helicoptering spliced into the baby shark gif. Andrew, if that's what's going on in your head right now, mate. <laughs> I, I, I feel for you, sunshine. Uh, that is, this, you know, yeah. Moving swiftly on, uh, Billy. What do you think? Yeah, I agree. I think it's going to be really, really tight if we don't get some kind of extra goal scoring or creative option. Um, we need to create goals as well as score them. Um, we're a bit one dimensional at the moment. Uh, by the way, Brighton have just signed striker Dennis Undav from Royal Union St. Gilois for £6 million. So they've signed a striker. Uh, Everton have now confirmed Donny van der Beek. Um, Interestingly, not Deli Ali let yet because you know. I'm surprised he... Morpe hasn't had more kind of interest in him. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Um, he's he's thought of very highly. I mean, Chloe, who came on the channel, the Brighton fan, uh, spoke very very highly of him, um, and apparently is good looking. But I wouldn't know that. Um, but you know, maybe. I mean, there's got to be somebody out there, Billy, who we can bring in. <laughs> Zapata, obviously, is the obvious one I can see um, yeah. in this country. I don't know. Is is, is Saint Tottenham still at Everton? <laughs> That's real the the bloody bench. hell, Billy! That, that is scratching the barrel. <laughs> it's proper. Christ <laughs> alive! Um, I, I don't think they deal with us anyway, would they? No. No. I think at this rate, we're going back in for Mitrovic. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? That's it. Hey, <laughs> funnier things have happened, Jid. Um, <laughs> Give Santiago Munoz a chance. Well, he's apparently injured if he really exists. Um, <laughs> you know, let's face it that, it, that could be the first invisible man to play for Newcastle. Mm-hmm. Um, well, I have seen something. There's yeah. a few people a few people mentioning that the transfer window in Italy closes at 7pm UK time, which is was 18 minutes ago. Yeah, but that means they they're not allowed to buy... We can, we can. They're not allowed to buy players now, but we can buy from Italy still. So they can sell to us in our open they, they window. Can but still they can still sell, yeah. In. We just can't buy. Okay. So it's uh, that's how the windows work. Because um, Scotland's, I don't think Scotland's transfer window doesn't close till midnight. So they could still buy players from England up until midnight after our windows shut. Okay. Yeah, it just means you can't buy when the windows shut. <laughs> It's Sean Aubameyang leaving the airport in Barcelona. <laughs> Honestly, Jesus. you couldn't write that. Jesus Christ. Uh, John says he's disappointed in the window, but I don't think the owners could have done much more than they have. Uh, I agree with that. Uh, I don't, I'm don't. i not so much disappointed, but I think the, I'm the owners disappointed. have disappointed. I'm just angry. Frustrated and angry. I'm, I'm not angry. Yeah. I'm just disappointed. <laughs> Oh no, I'm absolutely never admitting. You never it. tell Danielle. You keep it you keep it hidden really well. <laughs> uh don't think anyone else is coming in. Uh too late for continental players and Premier League is shysters. Um gutted for you guys. Keep the faith. I'm sure there will be a late twist, says Warwick. Uh I really hope so. Uh I wouldn't be surprised if we went in for Oba. Whoa. Danielle, late bid for a Bami Young. All about it. All about it. Get him on an easy jet straight out of Newcastle. Paul, get up there. Pick him up. Like, you know, Me? all day long. Yeah, go on, do it. Like, 100%. Get him in the car. Get him straight to the training ground. Get that contract signed. I'm not bothered if he's in nutter. Like, we're all nutters, aren't we? <laughs> so, if, he's, if he puts the ball in the back of the net, I'm not bothered at this stage. Just enough to keep it up. And then that, whatever he wants to do after that, you can crack on. Fair enough. Um, Ian says, Keith Downey just said he doesn't think anything else is happening at Newcastle, saying we are going to fall short in the attacking area. Not good at all. We aren't strong enough up front I mean, to that's not avoid what he said. relegation. He said, he said, will they bring in somebody else on loan last minute? That's unlikely. That's exactly what he said. 
Those are his mm. words. Yeah. Okay. It's not a no. It's not a no. Uh, remember Defoe going to Portsmouth with 20 minutes to go in the window. There's still time. Um, divert the flight back from Spain to Newcastle for the medical. Yeah, if Definitely. he's still sitting on a plane. Uh, Hello, pilot. You divert <laughs> to Newcastle, please. And then, then the pilot will come on and go, Hello, this is your pilot speaking. We are making diversion to Newcastle International Airport for the signing of Pierre Aubameyang, Aubameyang to Newcastle. <laughs> just swing by Liverpool to pick up Deli Alley on the way, and then we'll yes, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. just 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 drop a ladder, <laughs> just drop a ladder over Goodison Park, and then um, you know. Just I mean, he's in London, London right now. That that medical's rumored to be taking place in London. Ah, so it doesn't. The Deli Alley thing doesn't make sense to me because we're trying to hijack the deal and sign him on loan. Well, aren't they going for the permanent deal? Well, well apparently, we're, we're, apparently the reporter, we're going for the permanent one as well. Are we? We're going okay. with a very similar offer, probably with a bit more money, I would imagine. I don't understand um, how we can hijack it when he's currently in his medical. I don't understand that. <laughs> because he hasn't doing his fitness tests right now in London. Alex, he hasn't <laughs> signed. He has to sign the contract before he becomes an Everton player. That is true. That is true. So we can read. We, yeah, it's been. How often does that happen though, where they do the medical and then they? Yeah, look, it doesn't matter as long as it happens now. We're not bothered, are we? It doesn't matter. <laughs> exactly. Even you better if we took the medical report off them. Cheers, <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've got to do another one now. <laughs> Deli Ali just, just gets a hold of the paper and says, oh, I've passed me medical. I'll take that up to Newcastle. Jumps on an Azuma straight to Newcastle. <laughs> Somebody knock on the window outside the gym and just, you know, hand, hand the contract into Yeah, the exactly. Uh, David says we wasted too much time on Botman and Carlos and Lingard. Should have moved on from them a long time ago. Uh, without a striker, we're going to struggle big time. Uh, Chipper says uh, people need to stop more than five players in and it's not our fault players are rejecting us. For easier options or happy to sit on a fat wage as a sort. Look, Chippers, they're not rejecting me. They're, they're being held hostage by <laughs> sewer rats. Right? That's what's happening right now. He hasn't rejected us. That's what I'm annoyed at. It's not a case of, oh, I don't want to play for Newcastle. He very much wanted to play for Newcastle, but they are just holding him ransom. It's just <laughs> not. Can't be bothered. Ransom then, with no anymore. ransom fee. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I do. I, I do apologise to all sewer rats watching the show, uh, comparing you with Manchester United. I do apologise. Uh, Todd Fischel out in America, five dollars super chat with a comment saying, "Money talks, Alex." Sorry, uh, I'm, I'm refreshing Twitter. I do yeah. apologise. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm just. just... So when you refresh Twitter, when you oh, get oh, I can't even get my words out, don't matter. Uh, need a pop to see say type E signing to come in. Uh, go on a run like he did, could score from nothing back then. I, I mean, he's Good. available, you know. He's available on a free transfer. How old is he now? Well, about 106, but that doesn't really matter, does it? <laughs> it doesn't have to Slumberland, does it? They've, they've got them and Jermaine Defoe back. Jesus Christ. Well, exactly. He is 36. Oh, he's not as old as I thought he was. Who What's is? What are doing these days? Papi Cisse, current team Fernabache. Is I don't. Is he a free transfer? Yeah, he is. Because oh, didn't, didn't he put on Twitter. Twitter not long ago that he was um he was getting his fitness up? He was over in England trying to get his fitness up. I think Denver Bar retired a few months ago, didn't he? Yeah, yeah I think he, did, yeah. he yeah. did. just before the um, Foundation Awards, didn't he? Yeah, yeah, I'm sure. I don't, I don't understand it. at this at this point. I don't understand why we've not tried to throw Dwight Gale in with a deal for some. Nobody wants him, Alex. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, a championship club. I mean, at this. I well, know people don't wants want him. some of these rumored championship strikers, but if we threw Gale plus ten or fifteen at, at a good championship striker, mm. surely well, that listen. Got to take go to that. Blackburn and say, right, we'll give you such and such money and Dwight Gale for Brereton Diaz. But well, apparently, Pete Graves has said Newcastle are still working on two or three names, but I can't tell you who they are. Oh, very odd. Uh, does, does that mean because he Pete doesn't Graves know? Or... Yeah, apparently on Twitter space. Pete oh, Graves is, space. You know, he teases and teases and teases mm. you, you know what I mean? Uh, hopefully, he's right. Hopefully, he's right. Uh, Ab says Man United were never letting Lingard go, even before Greenwood. They are scum. 
Um, very optimistic, but it is mathematically possible for us to get top 10 <laughs> or even top five. This ah, season. You're right. ah, okay. Uh, Danielle deserves her own show. Um, we could just call Nobody it. Nobody wants to say that. Like, <laughs> A show for an hour, Danielle, where it's just you, the screen, and you can rant about everything in life for an hour every week. Just put a camera in my house. You go it would, all day long. It would be like <laughs> it, it, it would be it would be like therapy for you, Danielle. Well, I need a lot of that. Let's be honest. After after this window, really in fact, actually, after my whole you know support a life as a Newcastle fan because it's always them. It's yeah. always them. It is stressful being a Newcastle fan. There's no doubt it, about that. It's there's, just there's never them every time, ride. isn't it? It's just it them. Is. Oh, just, I can't even. What, how has this happened again? <laughs> you need to write "Why always you" on your t-shirt for when they next come to St James's Park. I just yeah. hate them. You know, hate them. Sorry, but I, I just remember when um, when Man United were last at St James's Park, and that supporters bus came around the corner and parked up outside Nine Bar, <laughs> and um, the driver wound the window down, and Dave walked over. And he, he sent the bus towards Jedbra. <laughs> and you think I'm joking? He did. Because he, he came oh, back well, laughing his it. face off. And he was, he, I mean, we'd heard him. He says, just follow the signs for the airport. And then you want Jedbra. <laughs> and then the car park's up there. Oh, well, we're not getting over. We're not getting over. Apparently, they've got Barcelona now have a verbal agreement with Arsenal, subject to contract on a six month and what plus one year deal that, if completed, will bring. His Arsenal career to an end. Medical to take place tonight. Surely Arsenal are paying most of his wages then. That's David Ornstein. So, right. Yeah. Hang on a minute. But then people are saying it's too late now to do continental transfers mm. or loan deals. Very well, true. clearly not. Especially if it's a loan deal. I think a loan deal can go through a lot easier than a transfer deal, to be honest. Um, I don't think Mark quite likes Paul Merson. Um, oh. Paul Merson is a cock. Uh <laughs> Well, that, like Paul Mason, the bookies. That's it. Yeah. Uh, Chris says Gale is a wage thief and a championship player at best. Oh. I'm actually really surprised we haven't heard more about outgoings, like likes of like Hendrick and Middlesbrough and stuff. Yeah, what's be... happened to that? What's happened to the riot? Away? We can't give them away. That's what it is. Or is it because we didn't get players in yet? Or I don't know. I mean, some people well, yeah. are going to get kicked out, aren't they? Who, who have we let? Because of the twenty-five man registration. Oh yeah, yeah. Woodman I mean, on loan, obviously. Woodman but... out, and that's it. Is that it? That's it from the twenty-five. So mm-hmm. we've got twenty-four, which which means we can register one of the new boys, and then so there's people getting dropped. Oh, without a doubt, there's people um, will lose a place in the squad. There is no doubt about that. But that that's just the way it goes. Um, this is a good one. Uh, Paul Merson gets a contract because he gives seventy percent of his wages back to Skybet. Correct. <laughs> Correct. I'm, um, I'm, 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 honestly, I'm getting excited. You know, I think why? something's going on. Why? I just do. I mean, <laughs> just, just, just Graves, a feeling. <laughs> Pete Graves is saying you can't. Na- we are working on a few names, uh-huh. right? But who are those players? Who are they? I mean, what are they like that, you know. That's well, like that. the deadline, Jay. Go on, Jade. Yeah, I think that's I like not knowing. Like, I'd love if it were done like a, a Danny Ings. Like, no one knew about it, and suddenly he's here and signed. Like, I think that would just make my deadline day. And if, if it was someone good, obviously. But so um, he would be a good sign. Chowdhury. <laughs> oh, not Shane Long. Chowdhury. Who, Billy? Shane Long. <laughs> <laughs> hey, do you know what it is? Shane Long's not a bad footballer, you know. I mean, he's, I think he's very, very, or he's been underrated throughout his career. I really genuinely believe that. Uh, but I wouldn't have him. Scored against us. He hasn't scored against anyone else. I'd, I'd agree with true. you there. I've seen him score against us. I went to that bloody Southampton game that McLaren was in charge of, where Oberton <sighs> scored, uh, assisted. That was Shane Long came on and scored. Yeah. He's listen. He's a, he's a little terrier. I mean, I don't think he's the right man for us, but you know. Um, Gary says all this panic about not getting a striker in the new recruits may do a better job and get it up the woods to put it in the back of the net. Just a thought. Oh, yeah. oh, mm. I hope so. I mean, if we get Chris Wood to chest it towards the goal, we're laughing. <laughs> <laughs> Billy. <laughs> T- yeah, Billy isn't sold on uh, Chris Wood either, by the way, if you can't tell. 
no more signings. We could have really done with another attacking player. James, don't lose heart yet. There is still... Oh, the clock's gone now. Three and a half hours. Three and a yeah, half hours. I, I have faith. There's got. They've. They've must. Yeah, they've. They've, they've not given us. Um. They've not given us any reason to not trust them so far. We've not True. had the they've, business is so, done official thing. So yeah. Let's I, just see. As and long as those that, lights are still on, places. as long as the lights are still on, something's exactly. still going on. This is English football. This is what English football is famous for. We do not blow the final whistle until we blow the final whistle. Do you not remember the Everton game where Lejeune scored a bloody bicycle <laughs> kick on the 94th minute? What yes. is and then scored on the 95th minute as well. Yes. And we nicked a draw. That is what it's about with, with the Premier League. So we've got to wait and see. I tell you what, mind. I'm just watching Frank Lampard. He is still a handsome man, isn't he? Really, for for his age, you know, he, he he's like I mean, a fine wine, really, isn't he? He's not that old, is he? He's, he's old. older than me, Jed. Is he? Oh. Yes, he must nah, be. <laughs> Billy, forty-ish, just shy of forty, maybe. He's forty-three. Well, I'm I mean, his wife's got thirty-two tomorrow. <laughs> Aye, and the rest. His wife's got the perfect surname for living in Liverpool. Let's be honest. Uh, again, for legal reasons, that is Billy's opinions and Billy's opinions only. Uh, oh, no. Angry Larry says, uh, I wouldn't be surprised if Fergie had his two penneth in all of this. Roy Keane spot on. Complete disregard for players' loyalty at that club. Hate Man United with a passion. Up the hammers for fourth. Correct. Yeah, we'll all, be, we'll all yeah. be cheering the hammers on for fourth place, apart from when we go down there in a couple of weeks' time, obviously. Oh. Um, uh, Munoz has a muscle tear in his fake body, apparently. Uh <laughs> I still, still think the business we have done keeps us up, which which was the goal. Uh, hey, it, it's it's fantastic that we still have confidence. You know, there's a lot of fans still confident we, we're staying up. Um, uh, again, uh, Man United fans says, I think Lingard deal fell through because of Greenwood. Well, just say that. That's all we want, just an explanation from Man United. Okay. That, yeah, we, we're it's not selling whole... because... Yeah, like you can have him. Actually, no, you can't. Actually, if you can't go to West Ham, but he might be able to go to Newcastle. Oh, actually, no, he's not going at all. I'm like, it's, it's just, just be honest and just say, I don't want him to leave, or yeah. you can leave. The back and forth from that club, even not even today, like over the past few weeks, it's just been bizarre. Yeah. You either want the player to leave or you don't. It's as simple as that. Yeah, it's not real estate. These are human beings. Yeah, you can't exactly. behave like that. It's, I know really it's cool business, stuff, didn't but... he? Like saying he go, well, yeah, I might have a chance of leaving here now that I yeah. actually, sorry, Jesse, you have to stay. And he's like, what? Exactly. <laughs> I mean, I understand that this is how business works, but it's how business works when you're selling things, products, yeah, not, not, not people. <laughs> this is this is not okay for, for this is a human being. It and he's still sat behind Jaden Sancho anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. It's still okay, um, That's the annoying part. Well, exactly. Guys, if you are enjoying the show, we've got about half an hour left of this stint uh, before we hand over to World of Sport TV again. Um, if you are enjoying the show, please do hit the like button for us. As I say, a lot of effort has gone into this, uh, putting this on today for you across both channels. So please, uh, if you could hit the like button, that would be a great deal. If you're new to the channel and you like what you see, please do hit the subscribe button. Very close now to 9,000 subscribers, which is incredible. Uh, fantastic, actually. Uh, whatever words there is in life, I don't know, but bigger than that. Um, so please do subscribe if you haven't already. You can become a member of the Toon Review if you hit the join button just under where the video is playing. If you can't see a join button, the link to join in the membership is in the description below. Uh, and also, if you'd like to super chat and donate to the channel like so many great people have done today, uh, hit the dollar sign at the bottom of the live comments and that will take you through that way. And a massive shout out to uh, Tune Review sponsors, Geordie Riffs, professional guitar repairs and servicing based here in the Northeast. Uh, if you've got any problems with your guitar, please go and see Graham and Natalie. Uh, they will offer you 10% on your first guitar setup if you buy a guitar, or they'll give you 10% off on your first repair, as well as your first guitar lesson completely free of charge. Just quote the Tune Review. And uh, if you want to go to their website, it's linked below in the description. They're also on Facebook and Twitter as well. Um, loads of comments coming in. Uh, Wacky Angler says, I can see a big exodus from uh, it in the summer after the way they've treated Jesse. Well, to be honest, Danielle, it looks like uh, Mr. Uh, Ronaldo might be leaving anyway. He's not happy, is he? He's oh, never happy, him, though, is he? He's always oh. got a face like a slap backside, Cristiano Ronaldo, hasn't he? But yeah, yeah, hopefully 
they can all just come out of that that training ground straight into a helicopter straight up to benton put your names on a contract I'd, I'd love to see it let's just take them let's go into that into that club in the summer and just take them all because honestly they deserve it they're rotten <laughs> Uh, Jade, you mentioned now goings there. Yeah, so we've had Kieran Clark turn down and move to Liverpool. Sorry, to Liverpool. To Liverpool? <laughs> so I was reading something else. Imagine Eden Middlesbrough. Um, and Jeff Hendrick apparently is on his way to QPR. Oh. From Craig Hall. That's a good move for Jeff Hendrick, by the way, because QPR. QPR good doing old very Jesus. Well. Yeah. He won't be able to get in that team, I don't think. They're, they look all right. <laughs> They play some good stuff, QPR, to be fair to them. I don't know why Henry could be in there. Can yeah. everybody please leave poor Jeff alone? No, he's done nothing wrong. <laughs> we ain't done anything right. That's the problem. Well, maybe he's, not, he's done nothing right, but he's done nothing wrong either. I he's think he's done, done nothing. nothing. Jeff, if you're listening, all the best, my friend. You do <laughs> happy, down there. Happy birthday, Jeff. Yeah, sorry, yeah. Jeff. <laughs> happy birthday. Get the QPR. Anyway. Uh, I've always been, I've always hated Man United, but even more now. Who's gone there? Oh, we Jade. lost Jade. Oh, she's disconnected her device somehow. Uh, she'll be back. Jamal later. Lewis has turned down moves away from Newcastle United, despite not being in the 25 man squad to be submitted to the there. Premier League. So is Kieran Clark, according to Craig Hall. So Clark's turned down Middlesbrough, which I can understand. I mean, why would you want to go Lewis there in the, first in the 25, place? really? Apparently, to Craig, according to Craig Hall, if you look on Twitter, he's just put it up like five seconds ago. So Jamal... that means how once. Dumb it, and Mankia was left back cover, presumably. If he yeah, but doesn't Jamal want Lewis it. is turning, he, he's turned. Did you say turned down? Yeah, so this is the tweet. Also, understand Kieran Clark and Jamal Lewis have turned down moves away from Newcastle United despite not being in the 25 man squad to be submitted to the Premier oh League. My, oh, so that means Eddie Howe wants Dumb it and Mankia is his left back cover. Then, if he doesn't want Lewis, that's. Uh, yeah. Lewis even in the squad, like that's an absolute waste of a talent. I think he would... Dan Byrne as well. Sorry, Billy. Dan Byrne could play there if needed to, couldn't yeah, he? Yeah, yeah, yeah that's can. true. Yeah. I feel sorry uh, for Jamal. I know. Uh, two Nelly old guards says, good thing Andy Carroll has already signed for West Brom, so we don't have to sign <laughs> for him. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. Uh, Lamptey to Newcastle would be a good move. No, oh, we need forwards now. We we covered in defence. We covered. Oh, there's Dipsy. She's back. She's woke oh, you've up. Got she's ready. Dipsy like a baby. She's my baby. That's why. <sighs> she's my therapy cat. So you and I'm, Jade, she's much cat women. <laughs> Jesus. Dipsy, Dipsy seems very dopey. Like I don't mean that as nasty. I just mean like. Why do you think her name's cuddly. Dipsy? The first thing she did was walk into a wall. That's why we called her Dipsy. See, I've never known cats to be sort of affectionate. Just like oh, they can be really affectionate. Oh my god, they just love. It. Honestly, she gives kisses, everything. Just lovely. Yeah, I still prefer dogs. Uh, good news, Jamal is a good player, says Jovem. Uh, Divock Origi will come in under the radar. Oh, really? No, no. Keep the radar away. We don't want the radar anywhere near. <laughs> no, we don't. Uh, Jason says, "Have the women's team got your spare strikers?" <laughs> Well, you know, I mean, listen, I, I'm just not sure that we've got enough up front. I, I genuinely don't think we have, um, unless we change the formation. Um, because three up front, th the three up doesn't work because it kind of isolates Chris Wood. And like we've said before, Chris Wood is not that kind of player who does well on his own. He doesn't have the mobility, Billy. I totally agree. We've got to play him as, as a, one of the two in a four-four-two, but then we haven't got the midfield to suit that either. So, <laughs> which one do we go with? We, we, we're crying out for Wilson to be fit, really. Yeah, that's what definitely. it all points to me. Well, that was yeah, I just, that's what I hate. Though I hate having to rely on Wilson because he's he's like, like, like it's injury prone, and it's yeah. awful that we are so dependent on him. And I thought that to be honest. When we got wood, I did expect another one, like I said, to come in. And I'm, I am disappointed that we're not touch wood. We've still got a few hours left. But if we don't get one, I do feel like it's a wasted opportunity. And I think it should have been sorted a little bit earlier than yeah. leaving it at the last minute. Because I think mm -hmm. that's what's going to boil down to it's the goals. Like we can't, like what Paul said before, you can't expect. I, I loved that when it was like with Keegan, it was like they'll score three and then we'll score four. Because obviously, not 
caught Michael Owen, but goals get you the game. Um, wins you the game, those goals. And Goal, it's just, goals get you goals, you know. Goals, goals get you get goals. Goals get you goals, and if you get Definitely. goals, you're more chance of winning that game. <laughs> and I just think even with the likes of kind of um, Burns in, in, in the defence, it's it, it kind of leaking it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Sean, like the thanks for the, Sean, thanks for the fight round super chat. Great show, peeps, covering the transfer market with the news <laughs> and speculation and jokes and banter have been brilliant. Thanks, mate. Uh, Maggot says, go for Vardy and Suarez. Hey, D- Vardy doesn't play much for Leicester at the minute. I don't know whether anybody's noticed, but Daka seems to be in the team a lot more than Jamie Vardy. Just reading that, people. I'm just reading rumors on Twitter. Who was that? It's just Lee telling us what's going on, sorry. Oh, Christ, I thought, Jesus <laughs> Christ, I'm getting a voice in my ear. <laughs> the voice is in your head, Paul, that's what it is. I thought, I thought Billy had mastered throwing his voice. <laughs> and I was like, that's really impressive who's doing Jesus Christ <laughs> almighty. As if I'm not spooked in this room enough. <laughs> uh, Andy Morgan, thanks for becoming a new member, matey. Welcome to the Tune Review family. Um, I used to prefer dogs until I got a cat, says Davey. Richard says cats all the way as well. Um, oh, Bruce we says, uh, yeah, need a forward. Well, I, I wouldn't get both. I mean, my Elsie doesn't pretend to, you know, do well with cats. Um, she kind of tries to eat them. Uh, need a forward, Paul, brother. Zapata really deal, uh, really deal up front. Uh, fingers crossed for this. Yeah, definitely. Um, okay, if it's only five million, Danielle, go and get him. Go and go, go out and see Amanda. Get that checkbook and go and get him. I wish this would have been would have been done on the second of January if I'd been in charge. Like seriously, like that's it. But I don't know. I don't know if they're, if they're not doing it. There's a reason why they're not doing it, and I can't work it out. I don't. I don't, I don't understand. Um, but we've still got a little bit of time. Um, have we got enough to get him in? I, I don't. I don't know. That's interesting. Uh, Dan says, uh, I personally think Dwight Gale should have had a more of a chance. He's uh, had loads of chances. Yeah, he's, he's had he's... loads of chances. He so... might get more of a chance if we don't sign anybody else. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Just will get injured, he's in, isn't he? I, I, don't, I actually don't think he is. Because when no, Wilson absolutely. was injured and, and we didn't have his, we didn't have Wood, he, he was still Murphy getting on, left out. <laughs> I remember that. Maxi on instead of um, we had, had Gale on the, <clears> the bench. And I was like, you must really not rate your striker if he's the only striker you yeah. have and you'd still rather play a midfielder in front of him. So you know, it's, not like we ra- it's not like we rate him either, is it, to be fair? No, um, fair enough. But I just Rose feel like says, he probably would have done a better job. <laughs> Sky yeah. Sports, Duran Zapata emerges as a late option for Newcastle United. Come on! It's happening! Oh. It's happening! Oh. Come on, Duvan! <laughs> I'll tell you something, like right? When when we go live again at 10 o'clock, that last hour, it's going to be manic because you're going to get so many players linked. It's going to be like... Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> uh, Rowan says, 6.30 a.m. in Australia. I have woken to Man United being bastards with Lingard again. Deli Ali going to Evan and Eki Teki says no. Uh, Rowan, thank you. Uh, do you know what? It's weird because Rowan actually commented on the first show this morning. So he's been to bed and woken up and we're still going. Very strange world we live in. Um, please, Amanda, get Zapata. Uh, any of the youngsters to temporarily fill in up front? Well, listen, I said ages ago, Dylan Stevenson deserved this shot. Um, I mean, Alex, we don't seem to be promoting many of the youngsters at the minute. Uh, well, how's had a number of opportunities recently to get some of them on the pitch at substitutes yep. and he's chosen against that. Um, yeah. I, <clears throat> I'm not sure. Obviously, they, they've they played at Premier League 2 level and on uh, out on loans. Um, <clears throat> but Howe seems to be bringing on people like Longstaff and Hayden as substitutes when, when the youngsters have got a chance. And he's like, like, like we just mentioned a minute ago, he's bringing on Murphy when we've got strikers down. It doesn't seem to be, it, it might be in his mind, but because of the situation right now, it's probably not the best atmosphere to bring them bring them on the pitch, um, especially if they make a mistake that leads to a goal. Uh, it might destroy their confidence a lot. I, I yeah. understand. It might not be the right time. The club um, told the perfect time to do that, wasn't it? Bring one or yeah, two in maybe it to was. start with. Exactly. Yeah, we might have won that game as well. Um, Farhad Amir, thank you for the 25 
A E D. Anyone know where that is? Arab Emirates. Arab Emirates. Something like that. Uh, football fan cast are apparently reporting that we've agreed terms with Carrasco uh, and Newcastle will now deposit the termination clause. That's been going on for quite a while. Yeah, I, think I don't believe how, that. how mental would it be if we got Carrasco and Zapata in the I last few minutes? Oh, that, stop it, Alex. Know. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> with his names, you are teasing me, huh? Dean Arnold. Oh, <laughs> Dean Arnold, uh, it'd be interesting. Uh, what about Welbeck from Brighton? What about him? <laughs> yeah, if the physio is short of work, we could get him in. <laughs> oh, he was injured, isn't he? Uh, yeah, <laughs> yes. Uh, Stephen says, yeah, just get Cody in, then everybody play up front. I've said that all transfer <laughs> window, Stephen. All transfer window, my man. Uh, we have the midfield with Bruno, or play three at the back and a 3 5 2. But who's the two up front? Because we can't keep playing Maxi up front because he's not a striker. It, 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 you know, it, we need to think logically here. Fair enough, get somebody in to play alongside Wood. Um, Are they talking but, about when Callum Wilson comes back? Well, yeah, but it's going to be too late. It's March, April before he's back, and you know, oh. let's be honest, we need him in before then. I, I know you don't rate Maxi as a striker, but I honestly, with how Woods performed so far, I would be so tempted to do a four-three-three with um, Fraser on the left, Maxi in the middle and Murphy, but have it kind of rotational. They can swap just as a try, just as an attempt. And then if it's, if it's gone wrong after the hour, bring wood on. Um, I know, but Alex, you play that way. We've got nobody up front who can head a ball. Yeah, but we, we've got uh, Bruno in. So if we try and change it, we've got target in Bruno Trippier to play some through balls, Dan Byrne as well. It, we've got a lot of players in that we're not going to be playing in exactly the same way we were um, against Leeds. We've got players in to tr- kind of change that. So if we've got runners... It would be a worry if Fraser went into the middle. Bless him, he's the size of a garden norm holding a fishing rod at the bottom of your garden. Uh, uh, he's not going to win he's through, If he's played through, he's been in some great positions recently and he's not well, been he has, awarded I the mean, penalties. Liverpool for been, one. Yeah, he should have had two penalties recently. Like he's been getting in good positions, and he's not been rewarded for it. To be fair, um, and same as Saint Maximin, he he's had a couple of penalties that sh- that have not been given. Um, Murphy's been quite unlucky as well. He's hit the crossbar like two or three times. Um, it's just it's an alternative to just putting Wood up front. I think it's the only other alternative we've got, unless we start talking about Gale again. And mm. I don't think anybody wants to do that. So, no, right. Abamian to Barcelona on a free transfer oh. deals agreed. Free transfer. Haven't we saw? Can we say That's that again? Abamian to Barcelona on a free transfer deal agreed. Not a loan. It's a free transfer. Free transfer. Jesus Christ. That makes it worse, doesn't it, really? But anyway. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Um, why is no one mentioning the news we have bid on Deli Ali? Uh, have you been listening? Um, <laughs> it's been a real joke for about half an hour. Yeah, did you not hear me saying I would helicopter outside of Goodison Park if we hijacked the deal? We mentioned um, it like 12 seconds after it broke on Twitter. I know. I shouldn't really say things like that, you know. I mean... I, I, I'll, Susan's going to slap me for suggesting things like that. I mean, it's just... A, but listen, that's the excitement of football. I know it is. Thanks for reminding me. I'm 32, you know. Um, the Aaron says, football comes down to who can put the ball in the net the most, and we need a strike at ASAP. Uh, Keith Downey saying, Japata is a loan deal. Okay. Uh, what for me? Uh, Andy says he already joined as a member last month, but his cards changed, so he had to renew. Thank you very much, matey. Uh, Foxy says, with all the business done so far, we will still haven't sorted out our two biggest issues in the squad, a top centre-back and a top forward. Shocking, says Foxy. I've also just read, apparently, we tried to get a deal for Wijnaldum today. Mm-hmm. Really? Yes. I don't know who he is. Like, I don't... He's got a... He's got 49,000 no, followers. Wijnaldum Wynald- played for us, dude. I don't know whether you can remember. No. <laughs> All right, sorry. Not Wijnaldum. I remember him very well. <laughs> oh, dear me. Uh, Esh says, uh, Jesse Lingard is unhappy with Manchester United for blocking his loan move. Newcastle's loan move offer for Lingard remains on the table in case Man United have a last-minute change of heart. Uh, there's more chance of buying Costco than Carrasco. 
I mean, there's not because we can pay his release clause. So, uh, yeah, well, uh, Wild Dead Wolf says, Never trust a cat letter away from a rat. Never trust a cat, it's a letter away from a rat. <laughs> oh, dear me. <laughs> Don't upset her more. Don't forget it anymore. No, <laughs> not, no, 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 no. There's one for you then. Then cats all the way. Cats all the way, Danielle. Cats yeah. all the way. Yeah. Uh, listen to you lot as I download GPS data. Uh, well, th that sounds very uh, not interesting at all. Uh, Target <laughs> will make a real difference balancing the left side. Indeed, he will. Um, Foxy says Dembele now. Jehad says get Marata in. No, no, no. He's I'd staying in my yeah, I'd rather have Chris Wood than Murata. He is terrible. Listen. Paul, I've got a, I've got a shout for you. Have you really? Mm -hmm. I have. Uh, Stephen Bergwijn, they uh, Ajax wouldn't wouldn't offer the twenty five million euros that Tottenham wanted for Bergwijn. They, they said they wanted twenty five million euros. Do could we? Should we? Would that would that be the right move? Do you think to just go and go? There you go. There's twenty five million euros. Because he's a, uh, he's a winger. Do you think Spurs would do business with us? No, I think they'd decline it, but it's it's a question, isn't it, I guess. I think if we offered what they wanted, they'd still say no. But No, but do you really want to give any money to Daniel Levy? Because I, I freaking don't. The only one thing I want to give to Daniel Levy is this, across his face. I mean, if it means I don't have to see Sean Longstaff trying to make a right-wing run, then <laughs> yes. Um uh, yeah. Uh, Chippers, thank you very much for the £6.10 super chat. Uh, maybe a player in the back door. Uh, no John Sinclair, pun intended. Yeah, okay. Um, well, all right, Billy, I'll catch you soon, mate. See you later. See you in a bit. Uh, Thomas says, we need another centre-back, in my opinion. Uh, we need centre-back more than the striker. Uh, I don't think so. Uh, not for me. Uh, Tom says, cats are fantastic animals, actually very loyal animals, and not yeah. sickle fans like dogs are. Get, get out of here. I, love, I like dogs. I don't prefer one or the other. I like all animals. They're far better than human beings. They are, <laughs> indeed. I'll, uh, uh, listen, I've just purchased a fish tank. You know what I mean? I, prefer, I'll, I just love having those... <laughs> What are you laughing at? <laughs> and the animals just purchased a fish tank. <laughs> yeah, because fish, fish are great animals. Very stressed. You know, you know when you're stressed out, you can sit on the night time and, and watch them swimming around in their own little world. Oh, I can't stand them. And then you wake up and they're floating on top of the water. <laughs> No, that, well, that's gold... case the that... cats ate them. <laughs> no, no, that's goldfish you get from a fairground, Danielle. The proper fish, like I get, uh, like. Yeah. African cichlids are lovely, bright colours and tremendous to, to watch swimming around. Um, ben Brereton Diaz signing for Barca, apparently. They'll, no, he's not. Uh, Obama Yang is. Nope. Uh, Alan says, mercenary United, disgraceful behaviour towards Jesse Lingard. Been at the club since he was a Ben over two decades ago. You'd think loyalty would allow him to move, i.e. David Silva and Aguero. Exactly. Look, look how good Manchester City were with them. Uh, you know, it, it, it's just disgraceful. Um, Villa fans are happy the target has left. It's worrying. Well, he was he was the fans player of the year last year. You can't then yeah. just turn around after a few games and say, Oh, we're happy he's gone. That's yeah, Villa ones, fans the being ones I've seen have said they're good. Yeah. And but some of the saying like they were he wasn't willing to fight for his place. And I'm like, Well, I don't think that's the case at all. Yeah. Uh Jock says he doesn't like black cats because it reminds him of Mackham's. Um Well but Target had a similar situation at Villa where um Jack Grealish would go wandering on the left wing and sometimes lose the ball and he'd have to be in the right place. So we've got exactly the same situation with ASM. So he's yeah. he knows that exact <clears throat> setting. Like he's he's been there, done that. Yeah, indeed. Uh, Heatseeker says he wants Danielle as the voice of his sat-nav and when he misses a turn, she rants and calls me names. Okie dokie. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, Carrasco, 18 million agreed. Uh, 18 million, nah, not having it. He's got a we'd have to pay his buyout clause, right? Liam Kennedy one. just now told NUFC are still trying, they're not yet ready to give up on this window. No guarantees, mind, and time is against them. Yeah, I don't care. That's my United right there. You know what I mean? They're not going all the way, kids. They're not giving hey. up. The last hour is going to be tremendous. It. We're going to love it. Love it, I I'll tell you. I love it. I just honestly, like, I know it, we might end this window with what we've got, and I'm, not, I'm going to sit here and be extremely happy with this window. I'm not going to sit and dwell on what we haven't got or what we... Because the 
I fucking tried. Do you know what I mean? That I've never mm -hmm. so resilient. And do you know what? At, when it comes to the dying hours, and you know, find fact, there's going to be clubs that are going to bottle it and say, "All right, then, give us the money for whoever." There will be. There will be. You can guarantee. And I think it's going to be, be very interesting. Last couple of hours. Yeah. Very interesting. We shall see. Uh, we will be back at 10 p.m. on the Tune Review. Uh, Jade, are you coming back for the late show? I'll think about it. Oh, well, that's it's a very kind of one. Uh, uh. Yes, I will. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Danielle, will you be back? What? Of course. You won't be drunk. Well, it doesn't look like it, does it? Well, I don't know. I mean, you might spend the next two hours. Happens. Hey, I tell you, if that helicopter comes out with Danielle, Ali, you still hope. Exactly. Uh, I'm, worried, just in case. I'm worried that I'm going to have to drive to Goodison Park tomorrow. Um, <laughs> time will tell. Uh, but listen, guys, thank you to everybody in the chat. Thank you for everybody that's joined us. Over 1,800 watching again, which is just fantastic, uh, given there's a lot of other channels covering this. To get nearly 2,000 viewing is just mental. Uh, so thank you very much to everybody. If you have enjoyed it, do hit the like button. If you are new, please, please do consider subscribing. Help us get to the 9,000. Um, thank you to everybody that's donated tonight. It's been unbelievable. That has, I mean, thank you for your generosity. Really incredible. Uh, so really thank you so much for that. And um, also thank you to our sponsors, Jolly Riffs, Professional Guitar Repairs and Servicing. Uh, based in the Northeast, if you want 10% off your first repair or your guitar setup, uh, give Graham and Natalie a shout. They'll also do a first guitar lesson completely free of charge. If you mention the tune review, um, the link to their website is down below in the description. They're also on uh, Facebook and Twitter. And uh, also go and subscribe to World of Sport TV. Um, a lot of work's gone into this partnership we've got with them. And uh, it's working really well. And obviously, uh, a lot of work's gone into the day putting these shows across the two channels. Uh, so please go and subscribe to them. The link for their channel is down below in the description as well. Uh, guys, thank you very much for your time over the last couple of hours. And uh, we'll see you back at 10 p.m for what will be the last hour of the transfer window. And then we'll know who we have in and have, and we don't have. And then we can maybe put a first 11 together for you. So we'll see you at 10 o'clock for the last hour. It's going to be absolutely fantastic. <laughs> see you later, guys. Bye. Bye.